Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Oh, pickles! Oh, yes, yes, my underlings. More pickles! I shall rule the world with pickles. Here, here. Ah! Gummy! Oh, why'd you wake me from a wonderful dream about, well, that's not important, with that awful noise! No! Ah! Okay, let's have a look here. Wide. Wider. Widest. Hey, you! Don't you ever brush? There's a piece of last week's meatloaf surprise still stuck on your bicuspid. Well, there's only one scientific conclusion. Something's not right. We need to ask Carla. Undulating octopus. Come quite roll attack. What in the wide, wide world of ninjutsu was that? Gummy, something's not right with his voice. Somehow, some way, Gummy's talker must have been jiggered. And we have to unjigger it. and he was speaking right way round. So, somewhere in the last 12 hours, Gummy must have reversed his vocal cords. <gasps> so what can we do? How do we reverse a reversed voice talky cordy thingy? Well, Gummy must retrace his steps and do everything backwards until he comes to the point where his vocal cords got turned around. Right, we're on it. It's backwards Gummy time. Oh, 
Quick, follow him! Into the little gummy's room? But that's... private! got reversed with his backwards mirror image. Then we have to swap our gummy with the reverse gummy, who's actually our gummy, even if this one is our gummy. I'm so confused. <laughs> Follow that backwards gummy! Hey, wait! Looks dangerous. I'm not taking part in that. You? Uh, <laughs> yeah, one. It's just going to be me and Santa. Santa should be here in six hours, according to Norad. Better set my clock. <coughs> Only six hours until Santa. Like this baking sheet, I will butter up Santa with the most delicious cookies he has ever had in his life. That fuzzy old man will have no choice but to bring me the most presents ever. Something on the roof? Is that right? Hmm. I need time for the cookies to bake, so let's leave it at three. Santa can't arrive until this clock says so. Uh, who could that be? Since I know Santa's not coming for three whole hours, there's only one conclusion I can come to. It's a burglar! He must be after my Christmas cookies! Oh, 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 oh. oh no, you aren't trying to squeeze down my chimney, are you? Huh. Chimneys are for Santa, you cookie burglar! Ho, ho, ho! That's no match for my fire retardant special boots! <laughs> special boots, eh? Oh, I got you! Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Tickle, 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 tickle! tickle. Stop it! Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> Don't worry. The tickling part is over now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's the end of that problem. Rise, my cookies. Rise! Huh? The cookie burglar again? Right. Bring it on. I am ready to defend my cookies. Come holly or high mistletoe! This box of Christmas goodies should take care of you. 
On the first day of Christmas, I gave my burglar free a massive fruitcake. Oh! On the second day of Christmas, oh, I gave no. my burglar free this glass Christmas ornament. And boy, is it heavy. Oh! Hey, you want to know what I gave my burglar free on the third day of Christmas? No, not at all. I gave my burglar free all the presents I never wanted. Uh oh. How about some rancid eggnog? Ugh. Merry Christmas to one and all. Even to my friend, the burglar, who appears to be agnostic. Eggnog, you later. Is he saying ho, ho, ho? Why would that make him laugh? This guy just won't quit. I must defend my cookies for Santa! my toes. Now who could that be? Maybe it's Santa. Ah, uh, impossible. Santa's not coming for another three hours. Hmm, it must be sooner by now. Ah! Well, duck my halls. Giant Christmas cows? Ah, uh, a gummy's gotta do what a gummy's gotta do. yippee ki And stuff my stockings. All this cookie defending sure has made me hungry. I suppose one cookie won't hurt. Ho, ho, ho! Those cookies sure smell good! <laughs> you betcha! But they're not for you. They're my special cookies for a special man that only comes once a year down the chimney and ho, ho, ho's and... and... reindeer? <laughs> Isn't Samuel by any chance, is it? Samuel Claus? No. Uh oh. Hi, Santa. Mm. Oh, so now you recognize me. Guess I'm not on the nice list anymore, huh? Nice list? Nice list? I'm late now for my deliveries. It is Christmas Eve, and this is the night I have to spread joy throughout the land. Well, Santa, I have to say, if it makes you feel any better, you brought me a lot of joy. I mean, a lot of joy. Oh, did I? Oh, yes. I had a lot of fun maiming and mayheming you, actually. Mm. Come on, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Rudolph. We don't have time for this, all adult. Look, is there anything I can do to help? You know, so we can call it even? <laughs> call it even? You burned my feet, smashed my head with Christmas decorations, covered me in rancid eggnog, threw me from a tall building, and then topped me with cupcake frosting and sprinkles! Like I said, a lot of joy was had. Hmm. Well, there is one teeny tiny thing that you might be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Gummy! Whoa! Merry Christmas! Whoa! Whoa! What a shot! <laughs> Here's a gift from Santa! Go for it, Gummy! Merry Christmas to all! And to all a good night! Whoa! <laughs>
Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. And that concludes today's nature program, Frog Nation. No! Don't end! Show me more frogs! They're so cute! So green! <gasps> just like me! Wait, what did I just say? So green! Just like me! Just like me! Just like me! Just like me! Maybe I'm a frog. It could explain a lot. Hmm. Huh? Whoa. Ah. Yes, I'm definitely green. I'm a frog and proud of it! Proud of it! Yeah. Proud of it! Uh, hi, Gummy. Everything okay? Sure is. I'm a frog, guys. Isn't that great? What exactly makes you think you're a frog? Because I'm green, silly. Lots of green things aren't frogs, Gummy. Harry's right. And you don't look or act like a frog. The TV said there were over 4,000 species of frogs. How do you know I'm not one of them? Well, frogs have long, slimy tongues, and they hop around a lot. You mean like this? Well, sort of. They also live in ponds, not apartments. Well, I can live in ponds, too. In fact, that's just where I'll go, forever and ever. See you in Frogland! <laughs> this is not going to end well, is it? Yeah. Maybe I should have mentioned frogs eat flies? Ugh. There they are, just waiting for me to join them. Hello, frog brothers and sisters. I'm Gummy. I've been a frog my whole life, but only just realized it today. Nice damn froggy place you got here. So quiet and peaceful. My, what lovely pond scum you have. A lily pad. I've always wanted to sit on a lily pad. And my new life as a frog begins. Getting kind of hungry here. Hey, my amphibian kin. What time's chow? <sighs> I guess that means now. Oh boy, my first fly. Here goes. <sighs> Back home, I ate all kinds of good things. Hatch-up smothered burgers, brain freezing shakes, pistachio ice cream with french fries on top. You guys would love pistachio ice cream with french fries on top. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Hang on, my froggy family. I'll be right back. Gummy, are you back? You've been gone all day. Everything is A-OK. -okay. I'm just packing some food for my new slimy buddies down at the pond. Um, are you sure the frogs will want to eat that stuff? Kala, who wouldn't want pistachio ice cream with french fries on top? But you have to keep it frozen, otherwise it gets messy and smelly. You're right, Harry. That's why you're a genius. All this great food will spoil by the time I get it back to the pond. Only one thing to do. Take the whole fridge. Is it really a good idea to live like a frog? Won't you miss the comforts of modern living? Wow. You're right, Kala. I better bring them with me, too. Skateboard, stereo, couldn't live without foosball, and my computer. Hope they have Wi-Fi at the pond. Well, I'm off. Wish me luck. Uh, that bag won't fit through. The door. Harry, we've got to do something. I'm back, and guess what? Ice cream for everyone! Ugh. Who knew a frog's life was so hard? Ugh. Well, it took all night, but it's finally done. My new home is all ready. Guess I'll see what's on TV. Ugh. Maybe I'll fix it later. <sighs> I'm too pooped right now. Get it, I dig it. I'm moving to the lily pad. Grip it, I'll get it. The biggest fun I ever had. I found my calling sitting on Lux. I'm living my life. A frog among the frogs. Living 
aquatic, a gummy phibian. I pedal the bog, I'm sitting on logs, I'm eating flies, and frog among the frogs. They're not warts. Perfectly normal for a frog. For the last time, you're not a frog. And warts are on toads, not frogs. You know, you can't believe everything you see on TV. You can't? Of course you can. If it's on TV or the internet, it's always true. I think we have a problem. Wait a sec, Harry. I believe I have a solution. Oh, I don't know, Carla. Seems kind of cruel to play this trick on Gummy. We're trying to help him. Now hush and help me set up. Hello, morning. Hello, frogs. Whoa, my TV's come back to life. We have breaking news. This just in. Gummy is not a frog. He doesn't live in a pond, go ribbit, or eat flies. I don't? But if I'm not a frog, what am I? Gummy can be anything he wants, and his friends will accept him. Well, I can be whomever I want. Oh, joy. Oh, bliss. Later, froggies. I'm going home to sleep in my own bed tonight. Well, that seems to have worked. Thank goodness. I knew Gummy would believe it if he heard it on TV. Not terribly encouraging. Well, it worked, didn't it? Now, let's pack Gummy stuff and take it home to him. Aha! There you are. Hurry up, guys. My favorite nature show is going to start when dung beetles collide. Huh? I wonder if I'm a dung beetle. I smell pretty dungy. four episodes already? Wow. I only thought it was 102. Oh, come on. You can't possibly still be watching Extreme Makeover Gingerbread House Baking Edition. How many times do we have to tell you? Yes, we are! Pass the chocolate-covered ketchup-flavored cream puffs, please. Whoa. What was that? I saw something, but I'm pretty sure it was nothing. Less talk, more TV. <laughs> Us again. Eh, so what? Oh, I think it's a. Uh, what? What is it? A, ma, 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 ma. a mailman? A motorcycle? A mosaic? A megaphone? A melting pot? It was a ma, ma, mouse. Ma, ma, mouse? Ah! <laughs> I don't see him. I'm too scared to look. Oh, rats! I can't believe we have a mouse. That's such hard cheese. What if it's plotting against us? What if it has some strange mousian disease like mouse pox or mouse flu or foot and mouse? Worse, what if it wants to tango? Why would it? No, no, no. There will be no tangling on my watch. Ugh. Wait a minute. There are three of us and only one of him. Plus, we're bigger. Come on, team. Let's get him. Here, mousey, mousey. Oh, I think I see something. <laughs> Uh, wait, no, that was just our shadows. I've got something! I've got something! Do you mind? I'm eating here. She scares, yet excites me when she does that. Kala, it's on your head! I know that! Get it, get it, get it, get it! What do we do? Hold still! Wait, is this a good idea, Gummy? What are you? A wussy pussy? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Kala, wake up! Wake up! Wow, that was something.
something else. Yeah, but at least she's okay. I'm sorry for whacking you, Kala. <laughs> Not sure what you just said, but anyway, Kala, don't be mad at Gumi. It was an accident. A direct, perfectly calculated, and brilliantly executed accident. Uh, is it just me? Or is she acting like she doesn't know us? Yeah, Kala, what's up? You're acting like a... Oh, cat! Oh, no! Do all cats do that? Maybe we should tie her up before things get too crazy. Like they are already? You know, even though she is a vicious wild animal who will probably try and scratch my eyes out, she does look kind of cute. Stay focused, Harry! Kala, get a hold of yourself! Oh, yelling at her. Maybe that'll work. Kala, we are all friends here! I can hug your memory back into you. Whoa! Sharp claws! Sharp claws! Ow. Why don't you remember us? Maybe she needs something. Maybe she needs something that money can't buy. Here, Kala. Commercial love. Maybe a mother's love? And how's my little poopsie whoopsie kitten baby? <sighs> Maybe a slideshow showing Kala how she used to be might help. Who can resist a good slideshow? This is my last idea, so it better work. Wow. Impressive, Gummy. Aw, look at all the fun we've had together. Kala, you have to pay attention. No, oh, you're just full of great ideas today, aren't you, Gummy? <laughs> Say goodbye to our little friend. Nice knowing you, little mouse. Except it wasn't. <laughs> what the? Get it away! Get it away! Hey, hey, Carla! You aren't wild anymore! Wild? Wild? What do you mean? I'm a cultured kitty. I'm a refined feline. Even if I got hit on the head, I wouldn't go... Wild? I was wild! Oh, the good kitty is back. Oh, guys, was I acting wild? Oh, I'm so humiliated. <laughs> oh, look, Kala. He just wanted to watch Extreme Makeover Gingerbread House Baking Edition with us. Well, I'll be gummed. Chocolate covered ketchup flavor cream puffs, please. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Oh, 
Gubba. Hey, what's that? Ha-ha, <laughs> tiny. It seems as though some salty buccaneer has buried a king's ransom of pineapple pepperoni pizzas and hidden them from the eyes of the world. Yaha! X marks the spot. It's the pizza pirate's life for me! <laughs> I am the pizza pirate. I'm looking for my loot. Anyone gets in my way will get to fear my boo. I am the pizza pirate. I have a treasure map. It shows a birdie portrait with the X that marks the spot. Hey yo, hey yo. Almost done alphabetizing my laundry. Now, if I'm color coding the socks based on the prismatic spectrum, is it red to violet or violet to red? Trick question! If I'm alphabetizing, it has to be red to violet. <laughs> Chip, gummy, what's going on? Havas, you lizardy lover! There be treasure about that I means to find. Hmm, eight paces forward and five back and a quick left at the couch. And Dex marks the spot. Um, I just waxed that floor. Shiver me, Timbers, no treasure. Must have read the map all wrong, like. Tis all shredded, as if by a critter's claws. Ah! Of course! Tis Kala's apartment I be wanting! Uh, what just happened? Kala, you do not need to see the butt to kick the butt. <laughs> I'm almost done with my routine. Walk in the plank, be ya. Take your time, lass. Tis treasure I be hunting. And Dex marks the spot. <laughs> Bless the luck. There be no treasure here, neither. And she sticks the luck. I wonder where she's going. Tis a piratical petunia clue. The buoy be buried in Granny's flowering patch. Tiny, set a course to the oldster's garden. What just happened? Who's your Granny? My pert little petunia, at the risk of stating the obvious. Granny's your Granny. Oh, that's odd. Oh, odder still. Gopher, and a big one, too. He's picked the wrong petunia patch to pillage. <laughs> My plasma-powered gopher get a 2000 will make short work of this pestiferous geomaday. Uh, 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 got him! Ah! Blow me down and nortle me craglocks! Right in the poop deck! <laughs> Gummy, why are you digging up my garden? This treasure map says Granny Isle is where the riches be hid. Oh, Gummy, this isn't really a treasure map. It's just an old takeaway menu with an X next to a pineapple pepperoni pizza. Nice try, you tricky sea hag. But you'll not be swaying me from the treasure quest nor stealing the loot before me. This treasure is hid and hid good. But Captain Gummy will never give up the search, even if I have to dig a thousand holes. We have to do something about this or Gummy's gonna Swiss cheese the whole town. I have a plan. Order for G, Granny. That would be Granny, who is me, dear. You must be really hungry. That's a lot of pizzas. 
Oh, they're not for us, dear. Okay. The customer is always right, even if they're a little crazy. <laughs> oh, look. There is a big black X on the ground. What could it possibly be? Whatever that X is, it certainly marks the spot. X marks the spot? The X at last! Ha ha! Mine, mine! The treasure be mine! Finally! Now he can ditch the shovel and give us some peace. <laughs> You're all done with digging, Gummy. Not before I bury me booty in a secret spot all of me own. Because nobody ever hides anything under the bed. Arr, what be this? Whatever it be, it's taking up space from me treasure. What the what? Yes? You shortchanged me on those pizzas, and you still owe me... Um, oh, uh, tell you what. I'll give you a large pizza for that box of shiny trash. Heck, I'll make it extra large. More pizza? Bam, Cozy, you've got a deal. Sucker! <laughs> Can you believe it? Free pizza for an old box filled with junk. <laughs> you gonna bury that one too, Gummy? You bet I am. X marks the spot. <laughs> yourselves in because it's time for another bone-breaking, spleen-splintering, high-impact episode of the world's most bewildering unicycle accidents. Bam, Boozy! I love this show so much it hurts! Let's make sure we've got everything we need for a perfect evening of mayhem viewing. Okay, custom fit inflatable fluffy pillows. Check! Individual fingerprint keyed remote controls. Check! High-calorie artery-clogging snack foods. Um... Oops, no check. What? I guess I got so excited about the show that I forgot to go to the store. <gasps> no snacks? What are we gonna do? We're gonna starve to death. Is it too early to suggest cannibalism? <laughs> I'll just heat up the leftovers from our last TV night. Hmm, I'm not quite sure that deep fried tandoori salami fish paste goes good with chunky style peanut butter and cream corn, but Waste not, one not. Okay, crank the radiation to 11 and set the timer on way too long. Hurry up, Gummy. You're missing the best accident. Wanga, I'm on my way. Did you hear something? It was just the TV. Did you see the way that guy stuck the landing? Get it? Stuck? Because he landed butt first on the goat's horn? <sighs> Nobody gets me. One from column A and one from column B. I'm going to gobble you down. <laughs> Don't eat me! And yes, I appreciate the irony of this moment. Bun, bun, ten, Buddha, that is, 
Cold tandoori, what's it? That's odd. <laughs> You've picked the wrong hot dog to gobble, Mr. Monster. <laughs> oh, that's going to require a few stitches. Mama! Oh, Mama! Destroy the monster! Yeah, destroy it good. for a little mob action. Yeah, so am I, Kala. We can't have monsters interrupting our TV night. Why are we carrying plungers and torches when there are three chainsaws right here? Plungers are funnier, Harry. Now, let's go catch us a monster. Hey, look at that. It's more scared of us than we are of it. Not more scared than me. <laughs> You know, I somehow feel responsible for this poor thing's creation, since I was the one who created it. I say we adopt it and give it a chance for a normal life. Okay, define normal. There's a monster in the microwave. It is looking for food, nothing is safe. Anything that's eatable, last weeks ago, it doubles. It's a bunchy monster that does wait for food. It's looking kinda scary and don't smell so good. It will eat all the leftovers that it can find. It's never gonna stop. Oh my god! Come on, you big smelly goofball. Let's get you some breakfast. <laughs> if you keep this up, I'm never going to get my cleaning deposit back. That was delicious. Your turn. <laughs> Uh, Gummy, I hate to say this, but I think it's time for your little one to leave the nest. Yeah, before he demolishes it. But where can he go? The dump! Great idea, Harry! It's like a retirement home, an amusement park for leftovers rolled into one big stinky package. Uh, saying goodbye is the hardest part. Give me a hug, you big smelly thing. Even though he's gone, he'll always be with us. Yep, yeah. until we take a shower at least. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. I win again! Ugh, you keep winning and I won't be able to sit for a week. <laughs> wow! For me? Uh, that probably is an 
isn't a good sign. Blowing gummy is never a good sign. <laughs> There's something peacefully soothing about hurling a 16-pound compressed ball of polyurethane at a cowering group of defenseless blocks of maple that really makes me feel good about the world. <laughs> Guys, watch this! <laughs> My place is just too small. We need a bigger lane. And I know exactly where we can find one. Mm. <laughs> to beautiful silence. <laughs> it burns! It burns! <laughs> it's burning! Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie! These quadraphonic sound waves are compromising years of my research. I do hope someone will stop this. <laughs> Could you please stop with the roly roly? These noise levels are unacceptable, Gummy, and you are going to pay for it. Why? Disgraceful. <laughs> no! More babies! <laughs> for Pete's sake, Gummy, we live here! Um, hi, neighbors? My spots! My nap! My face! Let's go! This is a good place to call an official's timeout. Maybe we should find another alley where we're more appreciated. Uh. There's never been a more perfect place for our new bowling league to be. It even has lines. And all we need are the pins. I know just the thing. Harry, pull those lights down from the trees. Kala, disinfect the shoes. We're ready to roll. Um, I don't think so. even up to standard. Don't interrupt my concentration. I'm on a roll. Must bowl more. Uh-oh. This is how he gets with video games. He loses his hold on reality and thinks he's actually in the game. Does seem to be losing his grip. No, I have a firm grip. Ready, set, go. Ready and roll. Line up the pins. It's time to bowl. When you see the ball, just run. Just run. Don't get it away. Nothing safe today. When I'm bowling, having fun. Kala, we have to stop it. Oh! Oh! I officially have a strong distaste for bowling. Hey, Harry, you're a cannonball. <laughs> Gummy's not going to stop this madness. I'm going to have to stop Gummy. was not part of the We have to strike before he strikes again. But how? Remember last time with the whales? <laughs> I'll do anything to stop him before he gets to that point again. Anything? Rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm the king of bowling. Another one. <laughs> Soon the earth.
Earth will be my wrecking ball, and this entire universe will be my cosmic bowling alley. <laughs> I was terrified at first, but it's really very therapeutic going back to babydom. Really? Maybe I should try to be the baby. But I'm already being the baby. But I want to be the baby. But I was the baby first. Now you're really being a baby, which I like. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, oh tisk, tisk, tisk. I think you have some cleaning up to do, Gummy. <gasps> And some baking. Oh, what an ugly little baby. Goochie goochie goo. Let's watch some soccer. I have to brush up since I did just order a new football. Wow, for me? Did somebody say soccer? No! Option is to retreat the bishop. Or do that. Good move. Guys, come check this out. Jarvis P. Stormbuckle from Ohio just broke the world record by making the world's largest pizza. That's incredible! Someone actually named their child Jarvis? That's my middle name. No, 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 no! Don't you see? We should break a world record. <laughs> Why? Well, the internet stars! Our name will go down in history, just like, what's his face? Jarvis Stormbuckle. Right, and that will be us when we do the world's longest tap dance. Uh, 19 hours. Nope, longest burp? Also 19 hours. One sec, longest time reading about what record to break? 20 hours. You guys keep looking. I'm gonna get some ice cream. Uh-oh. Kala, he's making that face again. His I've got it face or his I'm gonna be sick face? I've got it! We're gonna make the world's largest ice cream sundae. Everyone loves sundaes. Extra plus, we can eat it afterwards. This is going to be a nice, relaxing day. A little to the left. Huh? To the right. No, back to the left again. <laughs> I smell shenanigans. Perfect! We did it! Some we. Now, just what do you three think you're doing? Building the world's biggest ice cream sundae. It's gonna be a world record. No, no, you're not. I do not want to have to look at a giant sundae while reading my new book, a History of Spoons, by renowned spoon historian J.B. Spoonerson. You will remove this thing from my sight immediately, if not sooner! Hey, the field is for everybody. You can't make us. What? I... you... This isn't over! Never in my whole life have I heard or... Glad that's over. Now, how much ice cream do we need, Harry? Well, if our bowl has a radius of 27.84 feet, the volume is one-third pi r squared times the height. Subtracting the coefficient of melting. So, a lot. Yes, that's what I got as well. Any ideas on where we're gonna get all that ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream. Gee, it's tough to think with that ice cream truck music. <gasps> Hang on, that's it! Friendly 
Frank's ice cream? Can't you see we're closed? You're friendly Frank? No, I'm little Bo Peep. Now leave me alone. It's my day off. But you're driving the truck and playing the song. So? How I choose to spend my day off is none of your business. Mr. Bo Peep, my friends and I want to build the world's largest ice cream sundae, and we need your help. Not interested, kid. But if we set the record, we'll be internet stars. Picture it, Frank. Millions of fans chanting your name. Whoa. Frank, 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 Frank. Oh, that could be good for business. Fine. <laughs> Hello? Is this Big Lenny's Big Lenses Emporium? I'd like to place an order. Okay, so how do we haul all the ice cream in there? What am I, a moving man? It's your record. I have an idea. A big spoony idea. Hey, careful with that. I ain't got spoon insurance. Internet, Frank. Internet. <laughs> think this ice cream is melting a little too quickly? Yeah, and I have a hypothesis. Don't worry, I called in reinforcements. Whipped cream jetpacks! Hmm. <laughs> they might still need a few tweaks to get them calibrated. Now, check this out. I did a little fiddling with the water main. there's a fire. <laughs> I've always loved cherry picking, but it became hard when my vision started to go, so I decided to grow one huge cherry to pick. By the time I realized it would be easier to get glasses, this baby was already bigger than a beach ball. Ice cream, you scream, we need more ice cream, fill up the swimming pool. <laughs> We're breaking the record, the world's biggest Sunday. Oh, baby, that is cool. Ice cream, ice cream, sprinkles and whipped cream. A big red cherry on top. Once it is finished, we get to eat it. Ice cream until we pop. You're a little done, they do. Yay! <laughs> hey, the record's official is here. It's certainly large enough. <laughs> but it is not truly a Sunday. Sorry. And thus is ineligible for the record without a cherry on top. Wait, how could we forget? One sec, we have one around here somewhere. No Sundays. No Sundays. Hold <laughs> up, cherry napper. It's over! Why don't you just give up? I want my record! Don't worry! We've got you, Gummy! Grab the Sunday! <laughs> 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 Now that's a Sunday! The record is yours! Yeah! 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 Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm never eating ice cream again. You said it! I am stuffed!
Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. And now the double wishbone suspension. <laughs> and that jet turbine. Yes, yes, yes. And don't forget the slide whistle horn. Sorry to ask this now, but how exactly are we going to beat Granny's all-time dragster record time held by her for 50 years with the slide whistle horn? I tell you, but you can't handle the truth. Where do you want the glitter streamers? On the steering wheel. Duh. Yeah, it's getting late, guys. Yeah, Gummy, let's call it a night. Sleep is for the week. This time, we win at all costs. We will take the prize for bragging glory in the coveted gold-plated loudspeaker trophy. Okay. Well, we believe in you, Gummy. Yeah, buddy, don't stay up too late. You have to drive tomorrow. <laughs> You stayed up all night for this? Isn't I... you... it... beautiful? We're going to... We're going to... We... Um, Gummy? Are you sure you can drive like that? What are you talking about? I'm fine! Now let's go! Maybe I should drive. My name is on the sign-up sheet. Rules are rules. Besides, I'm righty tidy. Hurry up, slow pokes. Good morning, Granny. Ready to have your record time beaten today? Please. Gummy couldn't beat an egg, let alone my record-setting time. Why I could beat you with my eyes? Close. Get on with it. I prepared a special lunch for myself today, and I don't want it to spoil in the sun. To all participants trying to break my record, rule number one, do not touch my lunch! Rule number two, the time to beat is 51 seconds. Rule number three, three faults start and you're disqualified. That's one fault start. I will be eating my sweet, sweet lunch in no time. We can only eat the chocolate mousse after the helicopter ride. That's my sandwich! Look, mister, never forget rule number one. Do not touch my lunch, lunch, lunch! Oh. <sighs> if you don't get that boy under control, your whole group will be disqualified. We're so sorry. He's just a bit excited. What? Uh <gasps> Second false start. I want to be a baseball bat when I grow up. Get out of the road, giant hamster. You're going to cause an accident. Get to the starting line. <laughs> Two false starts. One more and you've lost the race. You cannot start until I say, ready, set, go. Huh? Did someone say go? Out of my way. The race is on, dearies! We gotta catch up! The hamster!
right -o. So how do we land this thing? Press every button and pull every lever? <laughs> you think one of those would work? The only thing that will save us now is an expert pilot in full control of their faculties! I'm a bird! I'm a bird! I can fly! Uh. Gummy, we need you to land this plane! Roger that, cult leader. This is your captain speaking. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. Here we go! Watch out, Grammy! We're coming in! Good morning, Granny! Lovely day! You broke my record! How did you do that? You see? I told you we'd win if I drove! <laughs> yeah! You shut the door. So anyway, I wrote a song for you, old buddy, old pal. Have a seat. But, but, this is the gummy twist. This is the gummy twist. Come on, Mr. Crunk, move with me. Move with me. Absolutely did not. I've been reading a book about knights and chivalry and good deed doing. Okay, 
I only looked at the pictures. But back then, if someone saved your life, you could only repay them by saving their uh, life. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, whatever. Which means uh, I must now repay you for saving my life by saving your life. Sure, sure. Just get out of here. Uh, 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 Finally, some peace and quiet. Exactly. <sighs> How did you get in here? The window. I met this really friendly bird out there. Or maybe it was a gorilla. Gorilla? Uh, uh. Okay, before we argue about species, let me make sure your place is secure. And don't you worry, Gummy is here to save you. Oh my! An iron and ironing board. You can burn yourself. An opener can not only open a can, but your cranium, head, marbles, nope, choking hazard, hammer, another choking hazard, pins, needles, thumbtacks, <laughs> you could put an eye out, milk, possibly the most dangerous of all liquids, especially when it shoots out your nose, and whatever this is, it looks completely dangerous. No, stop, that's my flambe, I'm in the middle of a cooking show. Now it is time to spoon on some raw honey. Raw? Why, you haven't even been properly introduced. Stranger danger. No. Uh, stop. Let go. Uh. 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 Danger averted. And now we are ready to add on the potato chip garnish. Chips. Right. Another choking hazard. This place is just full of them. Heimlich maneuver to the rescue. Stop that. I haven't even opened the bag yet. My bad. <laughs> oh, no. Life threatening allergies. I must get all the dust out of the air. I've wanted to do all year is to stand in my nice, pristine living space and make this flambe. <sighs> well, why didn't you just say so? Brave little cowboy. Mission accomplished. We are even Steven, level Neville, and copacetic jopacetic. Well, gotta go. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> really? Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. And that's the Big Dipper, and that's the Little Dipper, and hey, and that's the North Quacker Gummy, and that's <laughs> the Big Tickle. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> you know you can't have the laser pointer, Gummy. It's too dangerous. Remember what happened last time? How could I know lasers and uranium-238 don't mix? Could have happened to anyone. <sighs> wow, stereo. <sighs> I'm calling it a night. <sighs> Me too. Gummy? Nah, I'm just going to revel in the awe and mystery of the night sky. Night-o! <laughs> hey, cut it out! Who's that? Who's that? Why? Mark the clothesline! <laughs> starlight, star bright, big fat star I see tonight. 
I wish I may, I wish I might have all my wishes I wish tonight. Okay, I wasn't expecting this, but it is one of my secret wishes. Hasn't anyone told you not to point lasers in people's eyes? Alan! Sorry, buddy. I didn't know it was you. I was just flying by on my way to a big barbecue on Nova Scootum when I thought I'd see if my old pal Gummy wanted to take a quick trip into outer space. Bambus, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Then strap in and let's get this ship on the road. Where do you want to go first? Mars, I want to see the Martians. <laughs>
emergencies. Don't ever push it unless there's a world cup. Wait, if I'm here and you're here, who's driving my spaceship? which doesn't work. You said it needed a tail. And if one tail is good, four should be, um, three times better, right? And you didn't pay attention to my suggestion for making the struts out of wood. Uh, uh, uh. But steel pipe is stronger. And the mouse, dear. Why does the kite need a mechanical mouse? What? Kites don't get hungry? It's all wrong. Why don't you listen? Harry's right, you know. Mm, it'll never work. Eh, whatever. It just needs a higher place to launch from. I'll show you. Tisk tisk tisk. This doesn't end well, does it? No, Carla dear. Not with our gummy. Harry, can I use some of your gadgety sciencey stuff to fix up my kite? It still won't fly. Um, the last time you used my stuff, you melted one of my walls. Yeah, but the other three were just fine. Well, two of them at least. No, oh, okay, buddy. They're only walls. Knock them dead. I mean, have fun. Waka waka! Hooray! Just put things back where you found them. Harry, you're a trusting soul. Foolish, but trusting. Hi, 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 as a kite, 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 here I go, 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 taking a pop in the sky. When the wind goes up in the sky, there's a magic kite rising up so high. If you want to be the biggest one, you've got the whole world. Super fast with monster wings I eat you all up Prepare for the big Super fast with monster wings I eat you all up to work, roll down the ramp, pick up speed, hit the lip, and up, up, and away! Ten, nine, the number less than nine, six and a half, 
Three point one four one five nine. Eighteen. Two. One. Tiger. Ah! Peaceful and quiet. Hmm. <sighs> did it suddenly get dark and cold? Or did I accidentally put on my sunglasses again? Look! Told you my way would work! <laughs> we should have known. Not so woohoo. Ah! Try to aim, Gummy! I knitted you a soft, comfy pillow, dear. Hey, best I could do. Ah! We got you! You're gonna be fine! Woo! We got you! This way! <laughs> Thanks for breaking my fall, Mr. Kronk. Mm -hmm. You see how great my kite is flying? The one I made without listening to any of you? <laughs> well, your kite is eating our kites! The electricity must have brought it to life! Why does that always happen to us? It's like he thinks about the worst that can happen and then does it. You're right. I created it, so I'll have to stop it. Just one thing. Can you guys tell me how we stop it? There's only one way. Gummy O Kite O. You against the kite. One on one. Winner takes all. The last man standing. No prisoners. To the death. Let no stone be. I think he's got the idea. I believe what Kala is so bloodthirstily trying to say is that you and the kite must duel. <laughs> yeah, right, guys. I can't fly. When we're done with you, you will. <laughs> Whoa, that tickles, Granny Peters. This is how you make a kite. If you just listen to us in the first place, if you please, Kala. My pleasure, Granny Peters. Look, I appreciate your help, but there's no way this is going to... Whoa! Oh, oh, guys! I can see my house from here! Gummy! Incoming! was really fun. Nice 
stash, Harry. Where'd you grow it? I didn't. You drew it on me while I slept. <laughs> In indelible ink. You painted a happy face on my speed bag. My kitchen is a disaster. And look what you did to my commemorative snow globe collection. How do you know it was me? I was asleep. Honest. The drool's still wet on my pillow. See? We have proof! I do take a good selfie. But I don't remember doing any of that. Did I do that too? The gummy in the picture does have a goatee. And a very debonair, if evil-looking goatee at that, I might add. There can be only one conclusion. <coughs> gummy has a doppelgummy. A who's it, Watsy? An identical but opposite version of yourself. As if having one of them wasn't enough. <laughs> Guys, we gotta capture this counterfeit gummy. Not only is this a better mousetrap, but it's baited with Gummy's favorite pizza, pepperoni and marshmallows. We should catch that double gummy, no problem. <laughs> Harry, if the doppelgummy is totally opposite of gummy, what makes you think he'll even like pizza? Well, because he... Wow, that's a good point. Maybe he likes the opposite of pizza. Tofu? <laughs> the trap! Wow, the doppelgummy really is the opposite of the real gummy. Our gummy doesn't have any wits at all. Uh, at least not fiendishly outwitting type wits. Hey! Mm. I resemble that remark. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That doppelgummy sure is tricky. He's like a ghost. No one can catch him. Where will he strike next? <laughs> I say, old chum, care for a spot of tea and conversation? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I was bored with being bad in the mirror world, where all they ever want to do is party. Party? That doesn't sound so bad to me. Well, it is to me. So I thought I'd come here to be bad, where it would be more fun. So you like to do bad things to people? My dear fellow, it will be doubly bad to have you helping me be bad to your own friends. Hmm. Would you like first swing at the piñatas? <laughs> That's not bad enough. I've got a better super duper baddest of bad idea. It's so bad. When you look up bad in the dictionary, you'll see my idea. <laughs> 
really? Do tell. Better. I'll show you. But first, close your eyes and cover them up with your hands, and I'll set it all up. No peeking. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> you can look now. So, what's the great bad thing? Are you going to clog the toilet with toilet paper until the town explodes? <laughs> Time. What? You tricked me! But how? I'm the smart one! Oh, 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 oh. I didn't want to party! It's bad! For such a smart guy, he completely forgot that we are opposite. How could I go bad? I'm the good one! the last we should be seen of him. I swore off mirrors forever. Boy, I thought you were going to go along with him and be bad. Yeah, why didn't you go along with your double gummy? Was it that you just couldn't get yourself to be bad and turn on your friends? That bad was just against your good judgment and moral fiber? That if you were evil, you wouldn't be you anymore, the gummy we all know and love? Nah, beards are just so scratchy. If I had to wear a beard to be bad, then I just didn't want to. Ready for a big order? Huh. Our chef is always ready. Menu overload. Can't choose. Ah, you order for me. I'm too hungry to think. Oh, it's too much pressure. My head is going to explode. Don't worry, guys. I've got this. We will have the full stack pancakes, half stack pancakes, cupcake sprinkle pancakes, Belgian dark chocolate pancakes, Belgian white chocolate pancakes, Belgian normal chocolate pancakes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Banana peanut butter pancakes and the double triple quadruple pancake surprise. Oh, and can we get extra surprise with that? Why don't you just order everything? Please! Who orders fruit salad at a pancake restaurant? Oh, milkshakes! Don't forget the milkshakes! Did you forget the milkshakes? No, I ordered them 10 minutes ago. Hmm. Uh, anything else? Kala? Just step on it! I'm so hungry I could make a salad out of you all! Wanna split the damage? You got it! Hey, Kala, I forgot my wallet. Can you cover me? You got it! Oh my gosh! Uh, hey, Gummy! I need you to pay for me. I left my money back at the house. No problem. I've got this. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> ah, there it is. Oh, guess I have on my Australian underpants today. No wallet after all. Hey, Harry, I need you to cover me and Kala. We don't have our... Wait a pancake. If you don't... And I don't... We can't pay our bill! Oh, that's not so good. Ah, oh, 
and not until every patron in this restaurant is fed and happy will your debt be paid off. Have I made myself clear? Every patron? And just what is my job here? Dishes. You do dishes. People do that? I thought dishes did themselves. Don't worry, Mr. Kronk. I'll be the best chef who's ever chefed. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Two stacks of Jack, OJ, mashed potatoes. Ugh. Again. Two stacks of Jack, OJ, mashed potatoes. Ugh. Again. Ugh. Oh. 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 Somebody help me! Master! we have here? I'll have the eggs. But bake the eggs instead of frying them, would you? And use only the part of the white that touches the yellow. Also, only toast by toast on one side of the bread. And I would like that with whole wheat. But if you don't have whole wheat, then it won't dry. And if you don't have the Sprinkle pancakes cut into octagons with light syrup. <laughs> have you got that, sweetie? <laughs> Soon. Easy, Pancake. Easy! Everyone hit the deck! It's gonna blow! Pancake! Um, are you okay, Mr. Kronk? I... 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 I've never tasted anything better, Gummy. It's pancake paradise. Well, this is what just the most delicious. Beautiful. My work here is done, but next time we order the fruit salad. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Helping me tend my ailing geraniums, dearie. Between the bugs and the weeds, I'm dealing with some droopy blooms. Happy to help, Granny. I may not have a green thumb, but I've got some awesome claws. <laughs> Eat foot, you petal eating pest. Ugh. Watching Kala and Granny work so hard is exhausting. <sighs> I prefer to watch the clouds. Much more restful. Ooh, uh, that one looks like a pirate ship. <laughs> that one looks like a jackalope. That one looks like a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. It really was a UFO. Please don't probe me. Please don't probe me. Please don't probe me. Look at that cute little cloud. <laughs> it's so dinky. I think it's doing an imitation of a shrimp. <laughs> I think you may have insulted it. Oh, come on, Harry. It was just a joke. I'm sure the itsy-bitsy, teeny-weeny little guy doesn't take it personally. It 
Oxnay on the Italy. Sure, Harry. All I'm saying is that a cloud that small probably can't do very much. You know, cloud wise. Watching Granny and Kala work has worn me out. I'm gonna take advantage of this yummy sunlight and. Uh oh. Lava Dabba, get out of here, you pesky pup! I don't think he's going anywhere, Gummy. You've got this little guy storming mad. What the hell? Is everyone all right, my little darlings? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> Yikes! Maybe not so fine. I think it's time we got a handle on this cloud. Because I just saved your skin using this brake handle? Really? Nothing? <sighs> Nobody gets me. Fine. Let's just catch this cantankerous cloud. What are we gonna do about this cloud? We can't keep it on ice forever. That thing's like the, the, the cloudinator. It's never gonna stop coming after Gummy. It's what it does. It's all it does. Seems to me you cast some major shade on that cloud and you need to apologize, Gummy. How can I apologize if I didn't do anything wrong? All I did was call a little cloud little. What's wrong with that? Would Kala care if I referred to her as a single-minded killing machine who could barely keep her dangerous impulses in check? Would Harry be insulted if I called him a multicolored bundle of neuroses who's afraid of his own shadow? No! Yes! You and that cloud are both being pig-headedly stubborn, Gummy. You need to take a time out and settle your differences. And you'd better settle it, Mon, soon. Because of seasonal prevailing winds in Southeast Asia, blowing from the Southwest between May and September and bringing rain? Monsoon? What? Nothing? Again? <sighs> like I said, nobody gets me. Oh, I got it, dearie. It just wasn't funny. So, what do you say? Are you up for a little heart to heart? Now, this is a safe place. I want each of you to express your feelings. Cloud, how did you feel when Gummy said you were tiny and ineffectual? And Gummy, what do you think, knowing that you made the cloud feel bad? I can actually understand how the cloud feels. That's wonderful. <laughs> wow, empathy. Good for you, Gummy. I mean, if I were a little cloud surrounded by bigger and better clouds, I'd feel bad too. It's gotta be a drag knowing that you're the tiniest guy in the sky, overshadowed by his betters, not big enough to make a difference. If I were him, I'd probably chase people around shooting lightning bolts in their butts too. Gummy. What? Ow! Aquafatwa, lousy cloud! Oh, great. Here we go again. Watch 
what you point at. You boys, stop this foolishness right now! How do you know the cloud's a boy? Well, look, all my geraniums needed was a little rain. Emphasis on little gummy. Okay, okay. I guess, you know, that cloud really is good at something. Maybe I was a little rough on the floating wet blanket. <laughs> that one looks like a malarkey. And that cloud looks like a bum fuzzle. <laughs> wow, look at that one. It's huge. But size isn't everything. Face gummy. Hmm, Harry, something's different about you today. Wow, a beehive beehive. Looks good on you, matches your eyes. So what you want to do today? I bet we eat ice cream till we explode. Or maybe play a game of hide and don't speak. Sorry, Gummy, but as you can see, I can't play. I'm babysitting Granny's bees. Until she gets back from visiting her identical twin sister, Ranny. Nothing says you can't babysit and have fun. I say we play hide and don't speak right here in your place. And you can even be the hidey. I'll count to a gazillion while you hide. One, two, 17, the number that comes after 17. Ah, uh, uh, uh. I'm just that kind of guy. You're just the kind of guy who got me into this mess. And I'm gonna get you out. I have an idea. So B. 
feet up, we can barely stand up. Does that mean we give up? Ugh. I think so. All Granny can do is yell at me. The bees can do a lot worse. No! When the going gets tough, the tough get new shoes. And then come up with the best idea ever. What are the two things bees can't resist most? Cheese and crackers? Peanut butter and jelly? Has it pepper? No! Although you're making me hungry. Flowers and honey! Flowers and honey? It's so simple. I don't know why we didn't think of it before. It's as plain as the nose on your face. And that's a pretty plain nose. I dress up like a tempting flower and attract the bees towards you. You will have honey smeared all over your noggin. The bees won't be able to resist it and will come back home to roost on your head. Hi, bees. from those nasty, aggressive, brainless bees. Oh, Papa! Ah! Um, look, I can explain. Nope. Uh, Noper. Not good. Uh, I'm too young to be stung. Sorry, I'm late. Honey is really sticky. Do you know how long it took me to clean up after myself? Um, Harry, less talking, more honey ing. Oh, right. Anyone for a little honey? Told you it'd be a piece of buzzing cake. Gummy. 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 Don't worry, Harry. I'll figure out a way to get you down. But Granny will be back any second! Oh, Harry! I'm back! Do you have my beehive in there? I feel so naked without it! Ah! Oh, was it something I said? Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! Yeah, it's horrifying! Skin too dry! Scared myself! Me too! Oh, Mr. Crunk, dry skin. Mama. A little more uranium-235. A dash of organism. Granny, help! Dry skin! Doomed! Look at me! I'm peeling away to nothing. My skin's so dry, its cracks have cracks. Help me before I'm a pile of flaky dust. Glasses, glasses. Oh, that's right. I must have left them in my other apron. Don't worry, Harry. I have just the thing. Super duper moisturizer. It can make a stone velvety soft. Mm, uh, um, oh, uh, This is it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. I wonder, did that say moisturizer or more hairizer? <laughs> hey, Harry, old buddy, old pal, what you want to do to Puzzle! Hair! 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 Wait! You've got hair! What? 
You can have it, hair. I don't want it, hair. I use Granny Scoop and hair. Is this the stuff? longer, but it only stays fur length. Why, I'm breathtaking. Ugh. Not as breathtaking as me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I may not like it, but it's obvious that I have the best hair. Do not. Do too. Do not. I do too. Do not, do not, do not. Two. Do. Oh, I'm getting confused. Pax. <laughs> There's only one way to solve this once and for all. We need a hair off! I remember when I used to work the runway something fierce. I put the super in supermodel. <coughs> yeah. hmm. Work it, Carla! Work it! Back to go! Yeah, I'm all that. Blue steel, baby. Blue steel. Um, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Uh, uh. <laughs> Whoa! Uh. Wait, uh, Manuto? Hair nodding. Can't stop it. Out of control. I always knew I'd go in a bad way, but swallowed by my own hair. Who would have thunk? Don't worry, I'll save you. Fire in the hair. Okay, that's not good. Let me hit it again. Incoming! <laughs> According to my calculations, if it keeps growing at this rate, it will engulf the whole town by sunset, the continent in a week, and the world in a month. Oh, dearie. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm out of here. <coughs> well, nothing stop this horrible hair! <laughs> I've always wanted to say something like that. Kronk! Uh, did you say Kronk, Harry? Or Honk? Because I'm not sure a horn's going to help us here. No, Kronk. Mr. Kronk. Earlier, I scared him and all his hair fell out. Yeah! <laughs> it worked. Now all we have to do is scare me and Gummy. Don't even think it. <laughs> I wanted to see the world in gold. 
health and hair. Uh, need moisturizer. Uh, me too. This is awful. Granny will have the answer. My hair. My beautiful hair. Why? It was too young to fall. Curses, gummy pattern baldness. Curses. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that too. <laughs> Drawer? <laughs> Who needs a story? I know what I like. Adventure! Oh. oh. That's too scary. And fattening. <laughs> to eat or not to eat? That is the question. <laughs> no suspense in that one. I know! <laughs> Make way for the king of the living room! Ah! 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 Ugh, not fun enough. My movie has to be about the greatest thing in the world if it's gonna make everyone happy. Now, what could that be? I know, it's me! My life story has it all. Yelling, chewing gum, TV, adventure, greenness, underpants, and me! But who could possibly play me in a movie? Not you, you're too handsome. He's right, you know. Welcome to Gummy Studios' Wanna Be a Movie Star Talent Search. I'm the famous director, Gummy Spielbear. On with the auditions! <laughs> Lose the glasses! I like that look. Squinty eyed and confused. Now let's see what you do in an action scene. Tsunami wave! <laughs> That's it! Don't hold back! Let the emotion gush out like toothpaste from a tube! No, no, no. Not at all like me. You make a so-so hairy, but a terrible gummy. What's going on in here? A spot of showbiz? I'm getting a definite smell of bad acting in here. Hey! Where am I gonna find a star? Ugh! Those lips, those eyes, that skin. Can it be a star is born? Gummy, that's a potato. Not a star, but a starchy tuber. It's a tuber now, but when I'm through with it, it'll be a star! <laughs> there, bet you can't even tell us apart. We're practically twins. On with the show! So, in this scene, a fierce cannibal tribe chases you to the cliff and then you jump. What's that? No, you won't really jump. We'll use a stunt potato. Ready? Gummy! Where's the fierce cannibal tribe you mentioned? Ugh, thanks for reminding me. Okay, cannibals in place. Lights! Camera! Action! Ugh, look at him. Have you ever seen such raw vegetable passion? Get closer! No! Father away! Upside down! Lift the loop! Now jump! Jump for your potato life! What are you waiting for? Is this about the money? We'll talk about that later! Jump! Ugh! Cut! Print! Beautiful! You were brilliant. You'll be even better in the sequel. I can see it now. Your name up there in lights, bigger than carrots and broccoli. Now for the big ending finale, the one sure way to make everyone happy. The volcano explosion. What do you think, guys? Charming idea. Great way to make everyone happy, Gummy. Uh, what Carla said. Not you guys. I was asking the potatoes entourage. But they're just fruits and vegetables. Well, what kind of entourage do you think a potato would have? 
<laughs> you just don't understand celebrities. Hey guys, ready for the VIP tour? Pretty cool, huh? By the way, Gummy, I filled it with soap suds, but it won't look red like lava. It has to look red. Guys, want to be in my movie? You do? Great! There, red. What's this? Instructions? Who needs those? I think you're only supposed to put in one packet, Gummy. It's not like something could go wrong if I put in all three. Oh, no! Where's my star? This is a volcano, and right before it goes off, you give it a big old gummy smile, okay? Volcano explosion, take one! And... Action! Ah! <laughs> Got you, Granny! Oh, uh, thank you! What a soapy red mess this is! Hang on, I'm going after Harry! <laughs> Whoa! Ugh. First time I've ever encountered a sud tsunami. Where's Gummy? No, it can't be. My movie, my life, my potato. It's all my fault. My methods were unsound. I regret the harm I did to vegetables everywhere. <laughs> well, Gummy, at least this should keep your place clean for a while. The potato threw itself into the volcano to rescue us. It's a cinema miracle! I think the more likely explanation is that the... Who wants facts? Film the legend! We need more stories about heroic vegetables! <gasps> That'll be my new film! A heroic potato to inspire potatoes everywhere! Oh dear! I get the impression that Gummy didn't learn a thing from this near disaster! Wouldn't be the first time! <laughs> Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five! Here I come, ready or not! <sighs> Gummy, I found you, again! Nini, try again, Harry! This is too easy, Gummy. You have to really hide. I do really hide. Gummy, you never listen. Wait, what? I wasn't listening. Ah, uh, come on. How about I count, you hide? Ha-ha, <laughs> found you. Ow, how'd you do that? Toenail polish. Looky, looky. Maybe he wants to play too. Impossible, my dear Gummy. That is a statue. Nuh-uh. It's a copper guy who sits very, very still. See? Solid. And there was a bird on its head. Wonga! His foot went to sleep and it spread. And who doesn't like animals? what he do How's the wife and kids? Gummy, he's metal. Nuh-uh. He's reading. I'll show you. Fred, Fred, may I call you Fred? If you were truly reading, please ignore the following. Magoo! See? Seriously? That is defying the laws of physics and logic. Huh. I shall prove to you Fred is as real as you or me. Well, me at least. Mr. Kronk, 
Want to meet Fred? Get that hunk of junk off my clean carpet. Hunk of forced. Fred hates insults. Fred can't hear them because he's a statue. See? Two against one. He can't hear because he's slightly deaf. That's all. Deaf? Handicaps are not a crime, Mr. Crunk. Ask my ingrown toenail. <laughs> Is he fake? Is he real? He could be made of steel. He looks like just a statue, pretends like he can feel. I whisper in his ear, he's acting kind of shy. Even when I tickle him, he never cracks a smile. I try to make him laugh, he doesn't say a thing. He doesn't even move his lips when I try to make him sing. Crack a smile, my friend, don't be shy, my friend. Let me cheer you up, crack a smile. You seem kind of tense, can't we just be friends? We could have some fun, crack a smile. Crack a smile, my friend, don't be shy, my friend. Let me cheer you up, crack a smile. You seem kind of tense, can't we just be friends? We could have some fun, crack a smile. Crack a smile, my friend, don't be shy, my friend. Let me cheer you up, crack a smile. And stay out! Papoozy, we go elsewhere. All right, little atoms. Don't go nuclear while I'm gone. I just cleaned up in here. Gracious! What's going on in here? Duh. Gummy is trying to prove that this statue is a real person by teaching him to play checkers. <sighs> and I happen to have a checkerboard. Is that it? Yep. Gummy, sweetie pie, listen carefully. Your plan is noble, but totally wrong. So is yodeling. <sighs> yodel, 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 yodel. And yet the Swiss still do it. If that's wrong, I don't want to be right. <sighs> Enough! Could you please take your argument to another part of the building? Or perhaps another city? Sure, but Fred only has one move left, and he can't decide what to do. Okay, how about this? Want to play again? Holla, <laughs> will you please settle an argument? Yes, good idea. Tell this cotton-headed gherkin that Fred here is not human. Gummy, you're a relatively not-too-stupid guy. Thanks. I want you to please examine Fred for me as I do this. <laughs> Any conclusions? Ugh. Listen carefully. Fred is a cold, dull, solid metal statue. No brains, no feelings, no soul. Kaput. Then why is he so hungry, huh? Answer me that. It's good, isn't it, Fred? This also comes in grape and snowsberry. He's lost his tiny mind. Did you buy this online? Harry, we need to convince Gummy that his pal is a useless inanimate object. But Kala, that's what I've been trying to do all day. Nothing I've said has slipped one ounce of logic into his brain. Okay, time for plan B. If you can't beat him, join him. Yep, that's a real guy, all right. You win, Gummy. 100 points for your team. Fred is a real person. See, I told you. Now, was that so hard? My work here is done. See you around, Fred. I've got some double fudge brownie fumes to sniff. Shabba do! Wow, it worked? All we had to do was agree with him? See you around, Fred! <laughs> well, that's that.
that. Let's get on with our lives. <sighs> wow, I never thought I was gonna get out of there. This being a statue is really for the birds. Choo choo, go away. What if we play chess? Lame. Wash and fold our laundry? Lame. Taste test gluten-free crackers? Lame. Throw a party? Lame. Hey, I know. Let's throw a party. Send an invite to everyone in town, Harry. Bam, boozy. This party is going to be off the hook. But Gummy, don't we need party supplies to throw a party? Party supplies? I've got a whole closet full of them. <laughs> Right. I lost them all in the accidental firecracker explosion of last Tuesday. Never forget. There's only one thing to do. This would be great for party snacks. Hey! Gummy, what are you doing here? Granny Peter, I'm throwing a party and I need some party supplies. Mine were... Uh... Destroyed in the accidental firecracker explosion of last Tuesday. So you heard about that? <laughs> it was hard not to. It blew out my hearing aid. I'd buy some new party stuff, but I'm broke. Skinned, without money, not a zilch. If I had pockets, they'd be empty. <laughs> oh, pish posh. I have a whole host of party supplies in my apartment. You're welcome to them. I am? Of course. But you'll have to pick them up yourself. I'm heading into town for a secret scientist coven... Uh, I mean, a knitting convention. Yes, that's it. Wow, thanks, Granny. Everything's coming up gummy. Let's see. Party supplies. Party supplies. No. No. Nope. Ooh, there they are. What that then? <gasps> Granny has a laser light show! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Hmm, the responsible thing to do would be to take multiple trips. Nah. <laughs> Ow! I've always wanted one of these. What's this do? Wait a minute. That's no laser light show. It's a gravity machine. Boy, Granny really should sue the party supply store she got this from. She could have been hurt if she ever turned it on. Hey, Gummy. I got some RSVPs and... Whoa! Oh! What's going on? We've got a gravity machine. I'm telling you, Harry, I'm going to have the best party ever. We're going to dance on the ceiling. Wow. A gravity machine? Let me see. <laughs> that was Bagoo awesome. But safety first. Don't want someone to switch this on accidentally and hurt themselves. Watch your step. <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> What's going on? We keep on dancing to my favorite song. How did this happen? I can't explain. It must be magic. It is so much fun. Upside down, dancing on the ceiling, round and round. It is so much fun. Upside down, it's the greatest feeling. Shake and bounce, dancing on.
uh, Gummy? That was great! Hey, let's try a line dance next. Gummy. Or how about a river dance? Is that still a thing? Gummy! Ooh, I know! Let's break dance! Finally, not having bones will come in handy for something. Gummy! What? The gravity machine is... Aside for any sign of them, I can't imagine needing to look in any other direction, like up. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, where is everyone? Oh well, I guess I'll leave. You, Chaka! She didn't catch us, and all thanks to this awesome machine. Uh oh. Gummy! What's going on here? <gasps> Was this a surprise party? Uh, yeah, that's it. It's a surprise party. So... Surprise! Oh, how delightful! You certainly surprised me, Gummy. Now, let's boogie! <laughs> Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. I love this show, and it's educational. What flightless birds live in the Antarctic? Penguins! Jinx! Huh? Aha, you've been jinxed. You spoke the same word at the same time. Now you can't speak unless someone says your name. Got it? Ah, ah, ah. See, you didn't get it because you are not allowed to talk now. Someone has to say your name to release you from the jinx. <sighs> First person to break the jinx and talk must clean my room for a year. I love you guys more than anything, but them's the rules. <sighs> what is regarded as the best invention ever invented? The loop-to-loop -loop water slide! <sighs> oh, am I wrong? Wanna say something? Speak and you'll be cleaning my room. And I haven't cleaned in there since... Well, since forever. Mm, mm. Mm. Want some popcorn? <laughs> well, all you have to do is ask. Go on, ask me. <laughs> <gasps> you guys are starting to make me feel bad. All right, maybe it's no fun without you talking. Kala and Harry, I release you. Ew. Thank you, Gummy. That was very kind of you. I I don't know how you did it. Not being able to speak would drive me totally bananas. What goes best on a jelly sandwich? Duh. Chocolate sauce. Huh? Ah. Hey! <laughs> Gummy! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. What 
What? What is it? Is it me? It's me, isn't it? Is it my face? Do I have something between my teeth? Ah! Oh. Oh. Is it my hair? Oh. It's my hair, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I know, I know. I'm having a weird hair day. Okay, it's been a weird hair week. It's this new shampoo. I bought it and now I have to use it. It makes my hair look like an upside down ice cream. Ooh. An upside down ice cream in a bad way. Tell me how bad it is. Tell me. Why won't you just tell me? <laughs> For the last... You're right. I should just lock myself in my room forever. Thank you for being honest with me, dear. I now know I'm a hideous freak. Lowest snail goes by the name of Slowest Snail. popular names for babies this year? The correct answer is Harry, Kala, and Gummy. What, 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 what did he just say? I think he said our names. What kind of crazy luck is that? I'm so relieved that it's all over now. Oh, you said it. Agreed. Now who wants pizza? Me. Jet the jinx. Oh man, I'm good. Mmm, <laughs> how about I order extra anchovies and habaneras this time? that thing actually works. This thing totally works. I don't know. It could be fun. What do you think, Gummy? 
Gummy? Yes, I'd like to order the hypno spinner, please. It's here! Bamboozy! Bamboozy! Woo! Yesterday. Exactly! Forever! Anyway, here we go. How does it work? Looks like you pushed the button. Wait, wait, wait! We gotta read the instructions. Congratulations, you. No, just push the button. You are getting sleepy. Nope. Oh, Mano. Well, my mind is sharp and focused from years of yoga. You need a mentally weaker target. You should try Harry. Hey! You are getting sleepy. I am getting bored. And a little hungry. You guys want to go out for pizza? Oh, Mano. Well, did it work? Are you hypnotized? No, I was just thinking about pizza. You three, you're being too loud, as usual. Oh, sorry, Mr. Kronk. We'll try to keep it down. Uh Keep it down. Keep it off. I demand silence so I can read my book, Dr. Shushington's Guide to Demanding Silence. What is that thing? This is just our new toy, but it doesn't work. Look. Ooh. You are getting sleepy. I am getting sleepy. Uh, Mr. Kronk? Did it work? Only one way to find out. What should we have him do? Cluck like a chicken? <laughs> Come on. That seems a little immature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're a dog. Wanga. Like what? Everything! Look at here, look at here Watch the spinning wheel See it turning slowly It's power you will feel The wheel is guessing spell You're losing all control Watch the little spinning wheel And do as you are told Hit no, hit no, no Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Let's make it something good. Can you make this spin the other way around? Piece of cake. Let's hope this works. You three! I... Wait, what am I doing here? Um, you were hoping we could make a bit more noise? Why else would you be wearing a tutu? <laughs> Why, of course, yes, I, I suppose some amount of revelry in moderation, of course, can be, uh, good for one's health. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing. 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 Listen to the thoughts of friends and foes alike with the amazing Mind Reader Ring. Call to order yours now. Now that thing is a ripoff. Who on earth would ever order a thing like I'd like to order the Mind Reader Ring, please. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! Warmer! Warmer! No! Colder! Colder! Uh. Oh. <laughs> warmer! Warmer! Uh. Colder! Colder! I hate pin the mustache on the monkey, but it's a living... <laughs> Do you need a doctor, Gummy? Oh, Papa. Ow! Cough, please. <laughs> Again. <laughs> In my medical opinion, it's no big deal. No big deal? Look at it! Just look! How can I go on? Oh, Gummy! Don't go into the light! If you're really having trouble, I can send over a wheelchair for you to use until you feel better. Uh, wheelchair? to make it move, Gummy. Push? No motor? Voice activation? No autonomous steering? You use your hands? Wow. This is like something from the dawn of time. You have the brake on, Gummy. Ouch! This doesn't oh. seem right. I think I got it now. Ouch! Ow! Ouch! Bagoo! I did it! Easy peasy! This is the greatest thing since sliced bread! Maybe even better than sliced bread! Harry, you push me! I feel a song coming on! <laughs>
Time out! What's wrong, Harry? I'm too pooped to push. I think the idea is for you to push yourself. I can do that. Ouch! Sorry, Harry. I pushed the wrong way. Ouch! I think it's broke, Harry. It won't turn. You push one wheel one way, and the other the other way. Ouch. Sorry. Ouch. Sorry. Ouch. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, Harry doesn't look too good, Kala. I've been counting. You've accidentally run over Harry 27 and a half times. 27 and a half? Yep. There was the one time he rolled over his own foot, so I'm counting that as a half. Ah, got it. Hey, Harry, you okay? My toes have been rolled over and squashed. My back has been smashed. My head has been boo-booed. My spleen is in my pelvis. And my elbow has an ouchie. I've been better. Oh, pal, you're in terrible shape. I think you need this much more than I do. But, but what about your toe? Yeah, Gummy, what about your toe? Good as new. Just needed to stay off it for a bit, I guess. And don't you worry about a thing, Harry. I'll push you wherever you need to go, pal. Thanks, Gummy. I think that's fast enough, Gummy. Um, Gummy, slow down! I can't! I'm out of control! Better them than me. Gummy. The first day of summer! And you know what that means! <laughs> it's pool time! I hate the first day of summer. Yep, me too. are sure acting weird. What's the matter? <laughs> You're not scared of a little water, are you? 
Yes! I'm not afraid of water. I... I... just don't like it. Is that a crime? Hmm. I don't think so. Let me check. No. 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 Eating a pool's not a crime. No. 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 Nope. No law against it. But it's just, well, water. And you're not afraid of anything. Mm, maybe I'll try. But baby steps. That's the spirit. I'll only splash you with baby splashes. And what about you, Harry? I... um... I... Speak up, buddy. I can't hear you. I never learned to swim. <gasps> oh, my. These will keep you afloat while you learn. Swimming is like riding a bicycle. Once you learn, you always fall off. Or something like that. Uh, huh? Yoo-hoo! Break out the sunscreen! I'm ready for my all over ten! Right! Lifeguard on duty! There are rules to being around a pool, and I'm going to make sure you follow all of them! Rules? We don't need no stinking rules! Everybody out of the pool! Now! <laughs> And I still sink like a stone. There's only one thing to do. Quit, give up, run away, surrender to the inevitable. Wait, that's four things. If I'm afraid of water and you can't swim in the water, then we must get rid of the water. <laughs> but if you're afraid of it and I sink in it, how do we do anything about it? When is water not water? Wait, wait, I know this one. Have no fear, my friend. I have a plan. That's against the rules. No high diving boards higher than three feet. We cool this off enough with ice cubes and it'll freeze. Then no more water. Against the rules. Ha! You can't stop me. Swimming without a parachute, I always say. Let's do it again! Sorry, pool time is over. Winter's coming. Looks like my tanning days are done for this year. Well, at least I didn't get any tan lines. <laughs> 
Sorry about freezing the water, Gummy, but I'm still afraid of it. And I still can't swim. This was the only way. That's okay, guys, because there's only one thing better than a pool full of water. An ice skating rink! Da, 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 da! I'm not afraid of ice. And I know how to ice skate. Last one onto the ice is a rotten egg! Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! I can't watch! Let's switch back to Iron Pastry Chef! Seven episodes were enough! We can't go from horror fest to ladyfingers! Actually, you chose last time, and in this democracy, it's my turn! <laughs> Fat chance! Then, nestle the ladyfingers. As Tiger lines up the pot, a hurricane bears down on the seventh hole. You guys never do what I want, and your shows are boring! Are you kidding? We always do what you want! <laughs> Revenge of the Vertically Challenged Zombies! Dinosaur Discovery, oh, it no, is! no, you don't! <sighs> That's better. Yeah. I'd like to recommend something we can all enjoy. And nothing is happening here at the Golf Classic. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not a jot. I don't think golf has something to offer for anyone! Carry the one. Bam, boozy! Hey, Carla, what's Gummy doing with that one sixth scale model of the QE2? Huh? <laughs> Easy does it, Harry. Easy does it. Harry, I have an idea. We should put some jelly in there to make it click better. I like the clicking sound. And maybe a low jack for when you fiends try to take my remote. No. <laughs> wow, you fixed it? Well, Gummy worked his magic and... Woohoo! Just in time for dinosaur discovery! Hmm. If only I could really pause you! Dinosaurs aren't real! Hmm. Fast forward! Stop! Hey, you can't just. No sound! <laughs> Be a super genius? Yes! I can make you do anything! Give me that, give me that, give me that thing. I want remote control. Rewind forward and fast and slow. Total gun control. Give me that, give me that, give me that thing. I want remote control. Rewind forward and fast and slow. Total gun control. I control the play. What you do and say. Hyperspeed or slow. I can make you go. I can make you dance. I can make you sing.
what does this button do? Wow! I didn't even know there was a spin on your head button. Sure, right below the menu button. This isn't funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny to us, Harry. You too, Kala? Really? Hey, reverse! <laughs> you to keep it down. Silencio, <laughs> Rig, Chist, Tranquilo, quiet! I sure wish Mr. Kronk would play with us. That would be so much fun! I bet there's a button for that. How about, ooh, play button! Play! Play at being a frog! <laughs> I want you to take a play break with me, too! Play! You definitely should play more. Come on, guys! Exit! more boring than dinosaurs, if I know what everyone's gonna do. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna pay for this, Gummy. flower arrangement. Now there's a thrilling sport. What? It can be brutal, with the thorns and the allergies and... Shh, it's starting! <laughs> wow! I didn't know a leg could bend in all those directions at once. Bamboozy! That looks like so much fun. I want to be a cowboy and ride broncos and rope cattle and break my pelvis so I can wear a big cast that everybody can sign. I know! I'll throw my own rodeo! Hello? Ricardo's Rent-A-Rodeo? Send me over a bunch of your biggest and meanest critters. I like them big and mean. I don't! Have I mentioned that I'm terrified of large animals? I must have mentioned that. You're on your way? Soupy! What took him so long? 
do you know that a horse can bite with 800 pounds of pressure per square inch? And they have between 36 and 44 teeth? Eight carrying to seven. That's like 35,200 total pounds of pressure in every bite! And don't even get me started on bulls. Those horns have only one purpose, and it's not to give massages. What's that then? These aren't bulls, they're birds. You brought a bunch of goofy birds? Yep. You asked for our biggest and meanest critters. Well, you got them. Emus is bad news. <laughs> There's something still in the back of the truck. Well, go in and get it. Are you kidding? It's dark and scary and smells like emu poop in there. Here you go. Free of charge. Uh. Aww. It thinks you're his papa. <laughs> I can see the family resemblance. Shoo! Shoo! Go away! Okay. You may not be bulls or horses or any sort of four-legged creatures, but it's time to get the show on the rodeo! Treating you, Harry. It's a lot of work being a single parent, but it's totally worth it. You know that fuzzy little thing's just gonna grow up to be a big scary bird with razor sharp talons and a bad attitude, right? Oh, come on. This little guy is proof that emus are sweet and friendly animals who wouldn't harm a butterfly. Right, totally sweet and friendly. Oh, Mano, I don't think that big bird likes me. According to Harry, these birds are angelic ambassadors of goodwill. Well, I'm gonna ride that honorary critter or die trying. The smart money's on dying trying. But I'm with you, Gummy. Let's get back in the ring and do some bird busting. That's got to be some sort of record for the shortest time on an emu ever. <laughs> it's a stampede! Every reptile for himself! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you still want to play? This flies in the face of my every instinct for self-preservation, but... You shall not pass!
this, you're safe. <laughs> Told you they was mean. Like I said, emus is bad news. But the good news is, I got to be a cowboy and ride emus. And I think I even broke my pelvis. So I get to wear a big cast that everybody can sign. What a great day. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. And now, we return to Whatever You Do, Stay Out of the Basement, especially if you're a chameleon. <laughs> Billy? Sally? Where are you guys? I sure hope the radioactive mutant platypus with a chainsaw didn't get them. I guess I'll check the basement. Ah! Stay out of the basement, especially since you're a chameleon. She's going into the basement. Oh, nobody ever listens to me. And here he is, going, going, gone. That is so cool. I want to be invisible, too. I bet she wishes she were invisible. All done with my super-duper invisible machine. Who knew it would be so easy to build? And now, with the flick of a switch. I can't see my reflection anymore. Chaka! I'm invisible! Time to enjoy my newfound powers. Ugh. Hey, you can't see me. I'm invisible! 98, 99, 100! Tag, you're in! But I'm invisible. Mm -mm. But, but, but I'm invisible! Oh, Mano. Maybe I'm not invisible after all. There's gotta be a way for me to be invisible. If Harry can do it, so can I. Oh, oh, little gummy. It breaks my withered old heart to see him so sad. How coincidentally fortuitous then that I've been working on a new invisible ink formula. This will make his sadness disappear. And him. <laughs> like me and Jimmy used to say in the 60s. Out of sight, man. Ah! Uh, oh. Watch where you're going, Kala. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who? What? Where? What's up with Kala? <laughs> Must be drinking too much coffee. Glad I only drink water. Oh, I gotta lay off the catnip. <clears throat> Hi, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Gummy? Where are you? Ah, oh, you're pretending I'm invisible to make me feel better. That's nice of you, but... <gasps> oh. Oh, Bozy! I really am invisible!
say that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence? Hmm. 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 They both look the same to me. <laughs> I think you're gonna look great with a mustache, Mr. Kronk. <laughs> oh, Mano! Okay, I didn't get to paint a mustache on Mr. Kronk, but I can still sneak into the firehouse and slide down the pole ten times in a row. was less than satisfying. Only the licking of other people's ice cream will take away the taste of failure. Ah, that's better. Ah, brain freeze! That's worse! Being invisible isn't as much fun as I thought it would be. Maybe I'll have better luck petting the lion. Ow, ow, ow! Who knew that lions had such a good sense of smell? Hold still, Gummy. Or that ice cream was so coldy. Or that fire trucks were so run over -y. Being invisible is the worst. And now I'm going to be stuck like this forever. And nobody's going to be able to see me. But I can see your bandages. And that gives me an idea. There you go, Gummy. All these clothes will make you visible. No more getting trampled on, run over, or accidentally noggin bonked. That's for sure. This pink tutu is easier to see than a highway flare. Just remember, I'm gonna want that back when you're done. Now you're styling. What do you think, Harry? I think I can see Gummy. Yeah, Harry. That's kind of the point to wearing all this stuff. No, Gummy. Harry means he can really see you. You're not invisible anymore. <laughs> it's super nice of you to try to make me feel better. But I know I'm stuck being invisible and I've made my peace with it. It's time for me to go out in the world and show them the new gummy. Uh -huh. All these clothes are crapping my style. I'm not really a pants guy, or a tutu guy for that matter. But gummy. No buts. If I must be invisible, so be it. And I'll do it naked and free, the way nature intended. But gummy. Uh, I said no buts. <laughs> Oh, there's a butt, all right. I guess Gummy will figure it out eventually. <laughs> Being invisible is so liberating. What's your Halloween costume supposed to be again? I'm a new superhero, Captain Last Minute. My superpowers are doing things at the last minute. Like throwing together a costume? And also, X-ray bacon breath. <sighs> can you hurry, Gummy? I'm not sure how much longer I can wear this. What are you supposed to be? A ghost. Everyone's afraid of ghosts. And heat stroke. I'm so hot under here, I'm afraid I'm getting heat stroke. of nature! Uh, 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 note to self, solution X4403 is another dud. All my lab rats have turned into stupid monsters. Again! Don't you dare! Well, if you don't...
don't hurry, pretty soon I'll sweat under here so much I'll die of thirst and be a real ghost. Ah, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Refreshing. I feel like a new me. Ooh, this looks scary. Wow, you hear that, Harry? This mask's so scary you can practically hear it growling. <laughs> what a dummy gummy I am. It wasn't the mask growling. It was just this real-life giant monster. Real-life giant monster? <laughs> Looks like I'm safe for now. No! Where am I? What's happening? Oh, hi, Gummy. Do you know where my ghost costume went? Ah, behind you! What? Where? What's going on? There's no time to explain, Harry. We gotta hide! Come on! What are we hiding from, Gummy? A monster! What? What kind of monster? It's hideous. It's got big, sharp teeth. And lots of angry eyes. And a scary growl. <laughs> no, scarier than that. <laughs> That's it. Ah, it found us! <laughs> Kala, there's a monster chasing me. What? Where? You'll see him in three, two... <laughs> Don't worry, Gummy. I'll stop it with my nunchucks. Yes. Huh? Oh, right. I'm a clown. But I may still have some growing stars. <laughs> Green pies? They're not dangerous at all. <laughs> Wrong. They're dangerously delicious. You're not helping. Time to do what ninjas do best. Hide in plain sight. <laughs> that dingus thought I was a real lamp. <laughs> oh, hello. Did I say dingus? I meant... Guys, what are you running from? Wait for... <laughs> Maybe I had a bad burrito? Guys, wait up! Running and monstering has made me thirsty again. I need something to drink. Wait, what is this stuff? I bet this has something to do with Harry turning into that monster. How can you be so sure, Kala? 
She was talking about this. It turns things into monsters. Oh no! It's happening again! Phew! It must have worn off now. Well, we solved that problem. Now, what do we do about Halloween? That's right. All our costumes are ruined. By the time we get new ones, Halloween will be over. <sighs> I said no trick or treat. <laughs> um, for you three, maybe I'll make an exception. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! Zombie attack? A surprise gummy gift! Mm. <laughs> Do you like popcorn with ice cream on it? What was that? Mm. Mm. I thought I locked this door before I went to bed. Huh. Yeah, he didn't just appear out of thin air. Well, duh! Isn't that how gifts work? Um, no. Gift conception notions aside, you know our building has a really strict no dogs policy. You can't keep it. And this pup clearly already has an owner. See? The tab has his name, Rufus. A gift can have a name. Rufus is mine! Yeah, but at the same time, we have to hide the puppy from everyone in the building, especially... It's Mr. Kronk! <laughs> Ugh, you've got to be kidding! Oh, no! Was he listening in? Do you think he watches us? I would. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kronk! Did anyone hear any strange noises last night? Whimpers? Moans? Scratching? You mean the zombie attack? Uh, have a cookie, Mr. Kronk. Grape flavored chocolate chip. Yeah. Made it myself. Get those things out of my nose. <laughs> what was that? That was my puppet. You sure you don't want one of those cookies? We've been having a bit of a, of a, uh. A... Baking competition. Yeah, that's it. And I really need to get back to my triple layer backflip supreme. We'll let you know how it turns out. I'm sure you're on the edge of your seat. Ow! <sighs> Do you think he's onto us? I don't know, but we have to get the puppy out of the apartment without Mr. Kronk seeing us. <laughs> okay, be cool, be cool. Do you think he saw us? No, I don't think so. It doesn't matter. Anyone who looks into this puppy's beady little eyes will love him as much as I do. Is it me or is anyone else seeing Mr. Kronk everywhere? I think Mr. Kronk... 
trunks onto us. If we get caught, we could all get kicked out of the building. Everything is fine. Especially now that I have my very own puppy. <laughs> oh, gee, whoopie doopie 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 I'm singing songs for my puppy. My puppy's love can't get enough. I'm having fun with my puppy. We could be playing all day. We're catching frisbees, going down the slide. We're rolling around in the hay. I'm singing songs for my puppy. My puppy's life can get enough. I'm singing songs for my puppy. Nothing is better than a puppy's love. He's in heaven when I scratch his belly. We're having so much fun, you see. He is wagging his tail when we play with stuff. Woof, 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 yeah. I'm singing songs for my puppy. My puppy's love can't get enough. I'm singing songs for my puppy. My puppy's love can't get Actually, but don't tell anyone. What are you talking about? I was supposed to be watching him as a favor, but I must have left the door ajar and he got away and I've been looking everywhere for him. But now he's back. All's well that ends well. <laughs> Good uh, little guy. It was... <laughs> Gummy, he's probably already forgotten me. <laughs> okay, now I really want my own dog. Sorry, no dogs allowed. Okay, then I'll get an elephant mm -hmm. or a blue whale. Mm -hmm. You said no dogs, but not those, and maybe a herd of wildebeest. <laughs> Lock of pterodactyls.
Tommy. If I don't get at least eight hours of sleep a night, my inner kitty gets real cranky. Oh, it is. Guys, I heard a rustling in the apartment. A rustling? And a low moan that woke me up. Do you have any idea what it's like to be woken up in the middle of the night? Ugh, I can only imagine. Thankfully, I bought this book yesterday, so I know what's going on. Marvin Sneaselberger's Spirit Book. Guys, I think there's a ghost in this apartment. Oh, come on, Gummy. Ghosts aren't real. Tell him, Harry. Harry? <laughs> <gasps> I've got this! <laughs> and that's how you get it done! Okay, maybe that's not how you get it done. That's not gonna work. We need... <laughs> no? Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Um, ghost blasters? Well, I couldn't just call them ghost vacuums. That sounds dumb. Ready, guys? Yep. How hard can it be to catch one measly ghost? Okay, new plan. To catch a ghost, we've got to think like a ghost. And do you guys know what ghosts like to do? Mm hmm. Neither do I! But I know how we can find out! <laughs> it's all in here. giving me the fright. I heard scratching noises, then I heard a bump. I got a crazy feeling in my lungs. Wake up, everybody, a ghost is in the house. It is time to mobilize and drive the bad boy out. Forward, everybody, it's time to hunt the ghost. It is time to face the thing that scares us most. There's a ghost standing just outside my door. Dumped. I thought this book would help. Time for the old dumpster. Whoa! What's his deal? Of course! He must live in the book! Don't you see? Marvin Sneaselberger's spirit book! You mean... That's right! This is Marvin Sneaselberger! I must have let him out when I opened the book up! But it's his book! Wow! You're a genius! Although, really, that does make this all your fault. Well, what are you waiting for? Chuck the thing and we're free! Uh, you three! It is the middle of the night and you keep stomping around and playing disco! I ought to kick you out of the building if I hear one more! <laughs> that settles it. We're keeping the book. But you have to go home. Sorry, Marvin. We just can't have you floating around haunting the apartment forever. But next time we have a dance party, I'll make sure to open the book so you can come and join the fun. Promise. <laughs> Gummy, 
Kala, I've been wondering something. If Marvin's spirit didn't come out until you opened the book, he couldn't have made the noise that woke you up that night. Hey, you're right. I wonder what that was. Mm, probably just a mouse. What was that? Another ghost? <laughs> Mouse. Oh, sorry. Did I wake you? You've been making the noise. Ah, well, um, uh, the toilet at Granny's is all backed up and doesn't work. So, you know, I came to use yours. <laughs> when you've got to go, you've got to go. <laughs> sorry! Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! Gummy's broken all my stuff. Good thing I have Granny Peter's super duper glue recipe. With this, my broken stuff will be better than ever. Just a little bubble gum, tar, pancake syrup, jelly, duct tape, and a little sneeze juice. Everything that's super sticky. Wash up with? Oh, good. Liquid soap. Hey, Harry. I think you spilled something sticky on the floor. I'll wipe it off. The glue. No, don't. Stand still. Don't. Ah, gummy. Um, Harry, could you stand back a little? You're crowding me. <laughs> What did you do that for, Harry? I didn't. You used my super duper glue instead of soap. We're stuck together, Gummy. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, we have to find a way to get unstuck. <laughs> we have to work together, Gummy. Together? Together. Stuck on you, and she's stuck to me. We are stuck together, we're in trouble, you see. We're nose to nose and hand to toe. Whatever we do, and wherever we go, everything is sticky, and the smell is kind of icky. How can I get the school? Working together is tiring. You can say that again. Oh, Mano, this working together is tiring. Oh, I'm ready for Betty Bye and 40 winks. 50 winks for me. See you in the morning. <laughs> Good night, Gummy. Good night, Harry. <laughs> Uh, 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 July 18th. Uh, Rabbits! Uh, uh, yeah, no, Ma 
Mama. I don't want any oatmeal. It's full of Rottweilers. Uh. This is impossible. Maybe a little warm milk will help me sleep. Short answer. Ugh, short, please. I'd like to get back to bed. Gummy and I got stuck together by my super glue, and then he fell asleep in his sleep dancing Swan Lake. <sighs> so, same old, same old. All right, let's see what I can do. Keep him dancing while I figure out how to unstick you two. What? Maybe not. Now hold still. He... Okay, that didn't work either. It's not bad enough we're stuck together or that he won't let me sleep. It's all that dancing. It's like being stuck to a merry-go-round. <gasps> That's it. A merry-go-round? Yes, if we can get Gummy to dance faster, the speed of his twirling just might break you two apart. And if it doesn't? <laughs> then you better learn to love the tango. get here. And how do we get unstuck? It's a long story, Gummy, and I'll tell you all about it in the morning. Oh, good. Liquid soap. I just want to get some sleep now. I second that. I third it. Uh-oh. Gummy, did you use that squeeze bottle full of super duper glue for hand soap again? Uh, uh maybe. Oh, gummy! There's only one thing to do. whatsoever. Maybe you should find another instrument. Something not so eardrum bursting would be nice. Not the flute! Anything but the flute! 
Not bad. Really not bad. Actually, kind of good even. You have a weird gift for the woodwind. Yeah, but what good is my gift if it's not shared with the world? Go! Share! gonna be just fine. Uh, that can't be good. Gummy, are you in there? What's up, Gummy? Are you okay? I can't open the door. Why not? Are you playing that sweet flute of yours? Let us in. We want to hear it. What have I become? These are my friends. Still, it's every man for himself when it comes to rats. Wait, I have gummy spare key. <laughs> Way to go, you guys. You just had to come into my apartment, didn't you? Kala, do something. You're a cat, kind of. What do you want me to do, Harry? Eat them? Eat all of them? You, Rika! I bet they're just hungry! What do you want with me? Whatever we... Whatever we plan on doing, we shouldn't say it in front of them! Group huddle, guys! We can just stay right here. I wonder how long they plan on staring at you. I'm guessing a while. <laughs> Maybe you could get them to do your chores. Yeah, I always wanted a butler. Now I have a hundred little butlers. Do the dishes, little butlers. What do you little freaks want with him? Say something already! Harry, you really need to get a hold of yourself. We'll figure this out, Harry. How about I play some flute to calm your nerves? <sighs> I would like that very much. Uh, thank you. I hate to break it. 
it to you, Gummy, but it's your flute playing they're in love with. I thought you loved me for me. Hey, Gummy, how about you play these little flea bags out of the building? Please. No! Then what happens? And then you never play that flute again. Ever! But the flute is the only instrument I can play. It's my gift. Where will I go? What will I be without my gift? Just get them out of here and don't come back with that flute! Marmalade, the bitter skins of jellied fruit. I've been dreaming about you, playful little preserve, all night. And now... Ah! Oh. Is it here yet? No. Is here. Gummy's box is here. Gummy's box is here. Gummy's box is here. Gummy's box is here. But what's in the box, Gummy? I'll show you. Bamboozy, this is it. Okay, but what is it? Congratulations on your purchase. You are now the proud owner of a perplexingly percussive pyrotechnical popcorn plant! Uh, that sounds dangerous. Simply bury the kernel in a patch of dirt, and with proper care and feeding, 187 days later, your seedling will sprout and open its boom blossoms in an explosion of caramel corn detonating glory. Mmm. And it's good eating, too. Sounds terrifying, yet delicious. I feel strangely conflicted. Popcorn schmopcorn. Just give me the box. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Keep the carton, Carla. I've got a popcorn plant to plant. Don't you worry, little popcorn plant. I've got a green thumb among other things. One week! Make a wish, little guy! Poor little popcorn plant! Are you thirsty? <laughs> Perfect timing, Mr. Kronk. Thanks! I'm sorry. There you go. Uh, uh. 
calculations are correct, and they always are, this most special of explosive events will occur at midnight and won't be repeated for another 187 days. Midnight? That's way past my bedtime, Harry. Word. I didn't get these good looks by missing my beauty sleep. Come on, guys! We gotta see it pop! That's why I planted it in the first place! <sighs> good luck, Gummy. Yeah. Have fun staying up all night. <sighs> Nothing like reading a big book of boring facts while drinking warm cocoa on a comfy couch to help me stay awake. For some reason, this isn't working. I need to try something more extreme. But what? Maybe I should sleep on it. No, that won't work. But I think I know what will. was a dud, he'll be sorry he missed it. Come and gone, buddy. And the darn thing was a dud anyway. But it wasn't a dud! It was the most amazing explosive popcorn pandemonium I've ever seen! Sure, Gummy, sure. It sounds incredible. Now let's get you and this little disappointment to bed. It was incredible, guys! Like watching a thousand exploding asteroids hitting a million suns at the speed of light and burning... Good night, Gummy!
the first glorious spoonful of cereal on a quiet morning. Huh? What that then? New fashion? I thought you were supposed to eat cereal, not wear it. You startled me. Ah, oh, sorry, pal. I just need some more chocolate milk. Did you try the store? Seventeen and a half times just this morning. Half? Ah, uh, don't ask. My need for chocolate milk is great, but it's such a chore. Go to the store, get chocolate milk, come home, drink chocolate milk, go back to the store, get more chocolate milk. Ugh. <laughs> All this going to the store is getting in the way of my chocolate milk drinking. If only chocolate milk cartons grew on trees. You know, Gummy, milk doesn't grow on trees or come from cartons, right? No carton? Milk comes from cows. Bamboozy. Really? Bagoo! You're a genius, Harry! <laughs> Moo? You're my moo ticket to more chocolate milk. Mm. Yeah, I'm hungry too. But what do cows eat? I know, chocolate. Or they couldn't make chocolate milk. One for me, one for moo. Two for me, two for moo. Nope, not me. What that then? Ah, make it stop! Make it stop! <coughs> hey, I use it. Just remember to flush. You good now, cow? Mm. What's going on in there, Gummy? I hear an animal. You better not have a pet. You know the rules. No pets. <gasps> Try not to say too much, or Mr. Kronk will get suspicious. Mm. Hi, Mr. Kronk. No animals in here. Nope, nada, yet. And who might this be? Why, that's my grandmother, Molly. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Stop it, Granny. <laughs> oh, she's such a tease. <laughs> You're not fooling me. I know there's an animal around here somewhere, and I'll find it. You. That was a close one. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time for chocolate milk. Uh, just one thing. How do I get milk out of a cow? <laughs> Mr. Kronk? 
Where is your granny? I had to go back to Hamburg. <laughs> like my all-new natural soap? Oh, de bovine. Mm. Well, something's not right. I just know there's an animal in here. Oh, by the way, I like your new lamp. Phew! Another close one. But still no chocolate milk. You know, I bet you're broken. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll fix you. Ah! Hey, Harry, can I borrow your toolbox so I can fix my cow? 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 Well, that can't be good. I gotta tell Kala. A cow? Are you sure Gummy said a cow? Gummy's fixated on chocolate milk and not going back and forth to the store all the time to get it. So, yeah, cow. Hey, guys, what's up? Gummy, we came about the cow. Problem. Now we just pour the cow and bagoo! Chocolate milk! No, no gummy, gummy, don't! milk it? I tried everything you could possibly imagine. Everything! Huh? Look at the faucets on the bottom. Victory! Uh, it's plain milk, not chocolate. The cow's still broken. Mm -hmm. The cow is not broken. Cows give milk. Plain milk. Not chocolate milk. The chocolate's added later. Seriously? Oh, this cow business is too much work. It's getting in the way of my chocolate milk drinking. I gotta get to the store. What about the cow, Gummy? She needs a good home. Yeah, you're right. I know just the place. <laughs> It's just you, Gummy's grandmother. I thought for sure it was someone's pet. Mm. Okay, I'll see you in the mooning. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. It's today! Are you ready, Gummy? Bam Foozy! The once every year on the same day camping trip! I can't wait to have as much fun as last year! Being out in the wild! Seeing all that nature! Ah! And sleeping rough! Uh, 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 uh. This time I'm going to sleep in my sleeping bag. So, Gummy, you all packed? Oh, man, oh, I knew there was something I forgot. What are you doing, Gummy? What if I have to wash dishes out there? Right. 
Let's go camping! Oh! Rain? Aw, we can't camp in the rain! And I was so looking forward to it! What? Are we gonna let a little rain stop us? Um, actually... Never! What's a little water among friends? When the going gets wet, the wet get going. Things always look darkest before the bomb song. Bomb song? Forget it, he's on a roll. We waited a year to camp, so I say, we camp. We can't camp, Gummy. We need scuba gear out there. Who said anything about out there? If we can't camp out there, then we just have to camp in here. Who's with me? Uh, we are. What about for dinner? More s'mores! And again, that's for dessert. Then... Beans! Uh-oh, I forgot the can opener. I'll hike back to get one. Always be prepared. Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> right on key. Are we ready for s'mores? Anything's better than cold beans. Ah, uh, uh. uh, it's broke. You have to put it inside the microwave gummy. Huh? Wow. What do they think of next? Now that's a good s'more. Time for the scary stories. Uh, couldn't we uh, skip them this year? <laughs> Can't have a camping trip without scary stories. Okay, I'm ready. Once upon a time, there was a man. Ah! It's too scary! Seriously? Seriously? Fine! No ghost story! I guess it's bedtime. Oh! Oh! A bunny! You do one, Harry! <laughs> What's that supposed to be, Gummy? The Statue of Liberty sitting down. Nope, I don't see it. Huh? Must have done something wrong. Night, everyone. <sighs> oh, Mano. Maybe another pillow will help. Always be prepared. Lion! There's a lion out there! Seriously, Harry? A lion? There are 
are no lions out there. Go back to sleep. There is a lion! Hey, where is everybody? Are we playing hide and don't speak now? Here, lion, lion, lion. I'll get that lion. What that then? A lion? There's a lion? <laughs> the lion! <laughs> oh. Aw, where'd it go? That was some good ham! Ah, it bit me again! The lion bit me! Ow, 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 ow! Lion! 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 That's it! I'm not waiting around any longer! That's it! I'm not waiting around any longer! That's it! I'm not waiting around any longer! Get, Get the, the lion! lion. <laughs> oh. I got the lion! No! I got the lion! No! It's got me! <laughs> wait! Wait a second! Flashlights! Oh, Mano, you're not a lion! And neither are you! But I saw Shadow! So did I! Me too! Um, maybe there was no lion? And it was just our shadows? Right! No lion! Ugh. Let's get the tent up and finish camping. Too late! Camping's over! Oh, Mano. But I gotta say, this was the most exciting camping trip yet! Till next year! Gummy, I think it's rather pleasant out here. But then we lizards like the heat. Kala, what do you think? I don't care. This summer sun is too much for me, and it's only nine in the morning. I gotta do something to beat the heat. What that then? I'm melting! Melting! Well, if you don't like it here, perhaps you should try going somewhere cooler, Gummy. Somewhere cooler? Aha! Uh -huh. What's the coldest place around? The North Pole! I could go chill out with the penguins! Gummy, penguins don't live at the North Pole. They live at the South Pole. Nah, uh They're in all the Christmas specials, so it must be true. This can't be good. Come on, let's go! I want to get to the North Pole before lunchtime. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have naps to take. Fine, I'll just go alone. <sighs> Remember the last time you did something alone? Ugh, I'm not sure they ever got that statue out of Mr. Kronk's bathroom. Fine, fine, we'll come too. Great, you can carry the stuff. 
did you put in here, Gummy? Everything, including the kitchen sink. Summer is here and it's getting hot. Temperatures are rising and I like it not. I like the ice and I like the cold. Playing in the snow never gets old. My brain is melting, let's get out of here. We gotta get packing, there are sweat in my ear. I need an igloo with an AC. The North is the place to be. Go North, young gummy, go North. Where the caribou still roam. Where the wolves and the bears are running free. You can hear them howl and roar. Go North, young gummy, go North. See the Northern lights aglow. When the polar bears are hungry, they come knocking at your door. The North Pole! We're here and it feels great! Right, guys? Guys? Yeah! <laughs> great! Ooh, pretty! Um, guys, my snowshoes don't work. My toes are so cold I can't feel them. And it looks like a blizzard's coming! What's a little snow, huh? Sure beats the heat! You were saying. Out you come, Harry. There's a whole winter wonderland for you to see. <laughs> is that you, Gummy? Nah, my tummy is higher pitched. You, Harry? <laughs> no, this is me. Ah! Run for your life! Whatever it is, must be after our snowshoes. I think whatever it is wants to eat us. Oh, that's okay, as long as it doesn't take my snowshoes. Look, we're safe! I knew the frozen north would be awful. Snowshoes and blizzards and animals. Oh my! At least it's not hot. And look, I found food. Frozen fish jerky. Ew, that smells horrible. <coughs> Tastes even worse. <coughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> You're not coming through that way. <laughs> oh, it's Santa Claus. That's not Santa, Gummy. Santa goes ho, 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 not roar, roar, roar. <laughs> Do you think it's gone? <laughs> who is it? Flowers. Flowers for who? Lawmail. Plumber? We don't need a plumber. It's an igloo. Candy Graham. Uh, uh, candy! No, no wait, wait, gummy! He's a friendly bear. Roscoe? Friendly? <laughs> he was trying to return your missing backpack. Yep, that's yours, Harry. Well, why didn't he say that in the first place? Bed cold. Poor guy lost his voice. Then how did he fool us into opening the door to let... Mm. Shh! It's a secret. Okay, then what are you penguins doing at the North Pole when you live at the South Pole? Shh, that's a secret too. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
now. I think I'm getting a cold. <laughs> Come on, we need to get Gummy somewhere warmer. You could come too! We have room! Hey, we ain't crazy about this cold stuff either. <laughs> now this is the life, eh? Beats the North and South Pole. <laughs> Buddy bear, I feel ya. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Is it some kind of challenge? Some kind of joke? You're not listening to disco again, are you? Ha <laughs> ha! Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! We're taking selfies, Gummy! Yes, selfies! Of course! Absolute Terry! What that then? You don't know what a selfie is? Mm -hmm. You use your cell phone to take pictures of yourself. Selfie yourself. <laughs> this is the greatest! You know, it's been around for years, Gummy. Where have you been all your life? I have no idea! Watch this! Digital effects! Selfies, greater and greater selfies. The greatest selfie of all time will explode trying. Good one. I think we created a monster. And he's got my phone. Think of the data charges. We better make sure nothing bad happens to him like the last time he got obsessed. I still have the emoji shaped scars from that disaster. Want to see? to be the greatest shot ever! Ah, he's gonna fall off and flatten himself flatter than a flat pancake that's been flattened by a flat iron! What do we do? What do we do? To the elevator! <laughs> <laughs> what floor? R for roof. Right away, madam. <laughs> I never know what to do with an elevator. Do I look at the door? Do I look at other people? And what if the elevator cable snaps and we fall to our doom? I'm glad I have clean underwear on. Harry, has anyone ever told you you're a worrywart? Lots. And I worry about it constantly. Up the pole, Harry. I'll give you a boost. Why am I doing this? What? Harry! You photobombed my selfie. What'd you do that for? I'm trying to save you from falling, Gummy. 
Don't worry about me. I have a parachute. <laughs> wow, a parachute. What a good idea. Oh, pain and agony. How am I going to get down? Help, help. <laughs> he went that way, into the water, and... <sighs> this is going to be the greatest selfie ever! Quick, Harry! We have to save Gummy! Right! How? <sighs> Why me? Why is it you'll always be... <sighs> Harry, you got in my selfie again. How can it be a selfie if you're in it too? I'm trying to save you, Gummy. Now swim to shore while you can. Uh. <laughs> oh, great. I did it again, didn't I? Shot. Um, Harry, you're the sciencey one. Is it safe to hold a long metal pole in the air during a thunderstorm? Asking for a friend. Gummy ah! no! Ah! <laughs> Harry! Harry! Harry got zapped! Yeah. But more importantly, how'd my selfie turn out? Help! Someone! Anyone! What's going on? Help! How did Harry get in the phone? And why is he ruining my selfie? Where'd everyone go? Help! Help! Kaka! He's photobombing them all! How selfie can you get? Uh, uh, uh. Get out of there, Harry! That's not helping, Gummy! How about this? Ah, ah, ah. Says I'm running out of memory now that Harry's in there. I wonder. What if we take a selfie so big there's no room for Harry? Everybody say, Mano Bamboozy, Wango Bopo, Chaka Papa Bagoo. We're not saying all that, Gummy. Fine. Cheese then. Cheese. <laughs> My phone! My selfies! The horror! The horror! Sorry, Gummy. This thing is a goner. No more selfies for you. Fortunately. <laughs> selfies were so ten minutes ago. I'm on to the latest and greatest already. That can't be a good thing. And how will it end up causing me pain? Virtual reality! It's the latest and the greatest. It puts me into a totally, digitally, real, 3D place. Uh, 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 sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ow! Gummy! <laughs> if it isn't one thing, it's another. wanted ad. And it's for the candy factory that Mr. Kronk is manager at. Candy? I wonder what his job is. Candy? We could go see. The factory Mr. Kronk works at makes... Candy? Boozy! Oh, I love candy! Hi, Mr. Kronk. We're here for the job. 
<laughs> Not them. Not them. Anybody but them. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a big rush job, sir. I'm hiring extra help right now, sir. Yes, I understand my job is on the line, sir. Moco! I could burp upside down! Who knew? <sighs> All right. Come in, you three. We've received a very large, very important, very special rush order, and we need help. And I guess you'll have to do. We got the job? We got the job! Okay, before we begin, do not play with the Sucks a Ton 9000 Shop Vac. It is not a. Oi! Never touch it! All right. The candies will be coming to you down this conveyor. Kata, you're at station one. You put a hole in the candy. <coughs> Gummy, you're at station two. Your job is to put a cherry into each candy and send it on to Harry for boxing. Yes, yes. Well underway here, sir. Yes. No, no trouble at all. Hole. Cherry. Box. It's that simple. So don't mess it up! Oh, and there's a scale under the boxes. So the big boss can watch your progress. The clock is ticking. Oh. Jerry, pass to Harry. Hey guys, this is easy. Quit fooling around before Mr. Kronk sees you, Gummy. We have a lot of candy to box. You're gonna get us all fired in the first five minutes, Gummy. That'll be a new record, even for us. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy-licious, tummy-licious, gummy-licious! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Behind, but they're just starting. I'll see to it right away. So, we're doing good. Right, Mr. Croft? No! You're way behind. I'm going to have to speed up the machine to make up for lost time. Ruined. 
wrong. I kind of feel like this is all my fault. It is all your fault, Gummy. Hmm, well, that explains it then. But what can I do? I love candy. And touching things I'm not supposed to, of course. And very small ducks. <gasps> That's it! Bagoo! Very small ducks is the answer? No, Gummy. The sucks at 9,000 is. But Mr. Croc said never touch it. When have we ever listened to him? <laughs> Harry, get ready with the candy boxes! Yes, sir. All finished, sir. Yes, sir. Just in time. Where's the order going, sir? Let's see. It's uh, it's uh, it's going to Gummy's house. <laughs> what can I say? I like candy. <laughs> Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! <sighs> wow, Gummy! I've never seen you clean! Anything! Ever! Is your cousin a germaphobe or something? My cousin is the coolest person I've ever met! You've ever met! You'll be here any second! Guys! Yay! Hooray! Let's go! Let's go! Let's And then I conquered the wild snot beast and sent him back to his tea party on the moon. After that, I dug up the rare Velocity unicycle bones and brought them back to the museum for display. See, Gummy? I'm all about the bones. You are just so cool! Uh. Uh, 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 Everyone down! He's gonna blow! Whoa! I think that's enough, is it for me? I'm out of here. Me too. And what kind of species is Kala? Kala? She's a serval. A feline! Well, we have some science investigationing to do. You're the expert! You know, Gummy, the ancient Egyptians believed cats had special powers. Other than kicking butt, Kala doesn't really seem to have any powers. Duh! She has to be wrapped up like a mummy before the special powers can reveal themselves. Kid, you have a lot to learn. Nice! Too play. So soft. So mummy. <laughs> Tell us what we need. 
My whole morning has been one loud noise after another. For once, keep the noise down! Mr. Croc, would you mind keeping it down? Me keep it down? I'm not the one making all the racket! <gasps> what? Tyrannosaurus Rex! I think Harry is a Tyrannosaurus Rex! There's only one way to find out. Set up a bunch of experiments that test Harry's king of the dinosaur side. <laughs> The ultimate test to see if he's a bloodthirsty T-Rex. T-Rexes love the taste of goat. Call to your friend. Oh, Harry! Can you come in here, please? What's up, Gummy? Goat! <laughs> Mindy. What was the dam about? T-Rexes have small arms, so they can't open jars. He seems to be eating the jam because the goat scared him. I think maybe he's not a T-Rex. You could be right, but there's one more test left. It's a known fact that T-Rexes hate glitter and glue crafts. Ugh, I can't believe I ate so much jam. All this stress. Well, only glitter and glue arts and crafts can calm my nerves now. Ah, a happy, glittery sun. That's better. These aren't the results I was looking for. I can't believe I was so far off. This makes no sense. He is a T-Rex. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> We have to trap him, Gummy! Gummy? Is that you, Gummy? Okay, when the T-Rex... The T-Harry! When the T-Harry comes in, we jump in and bag and tag. It'll be the greatest scientific discovery since Einstein invented the light bulb. Gummy? Can you help me, Gummy? Yeah. Uh, uh, there you are, you mummy-wrapping mummy wrappers! Uh, 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 Take uh, that, you uh, Egyptian uh, magic uh, mummy cat! Uh, Help! Help! Got it! Now it's off to the museum. I've got the world's first live cage T. Harry. Nobel Prize, here I come. What did you just say? What did it? Harry is our friend, Mindy. You can't take our friend away. Uh, too late. Science demands sacrifice, Gummy. <laughs> We'll never catch them! I saw this in a movie once! <laughs> Jump on! <laughs> Mindy, let our friend go! <laughs> oh, hey, Gummy, you're here, Gummy! No! Gummy, he's a dinosaur, and I'm gonna put him in a museum. I don't think he is, Mindy. This is just like the time when we were kids and you thought my poodle was a wolf. Sprinkles have werewolf jeans crawling all over her, and you know it. Those were fleas, Mindy. Please. Please? Did someone say please? Where? I can't stand fleas. Everyone's been picking on me today, putting me in cages, and now please. Ah! You know. T-Rexes don't really scream like that, and I don't think they were really this whiny. And I know for a fact they love fleas. I wonder, could I be wrong? <laughs> I'm free! I'm free! You know, guys, sometimes I can get a little carried away. A little? Okay, maybe a lot. It's what makes me great. I'm sorry for getting carried away, little not T-Rex lizard. I should go. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait for our next family reunion. You know it, cuz. Bye! Please make sure I am nowhere near that gummy. <sighs> Ditto.